When I look at my favorite moments in our history, so many of them come from Bound for Glory. Ladies and gentlemen, you have witnessed an electric finish to an electric night in Atlanta, Georgia, where Sting has become the new TNA World Heavy. TNA Wrestling and Direct Auto Insurance present the biggest event of the year, Bound for Glory. And they are going Woo! wild in the desert, my friend. It's craziness. And hello once again, everyone, from ringside. It's Mike today. It's Taz. And there is a big show atmosphere in the building tonight. Oh, there's electricity, bro. I, I, I can't wait. I'm amped up right now. I know I'm all day backstage in a locker room. These wrestlers, they are ready, man. Let them loose, man. Just let them loose. Tonight, the Bound for Glory Series winner, Jeff Hardy, he gets his shot. It's the big payoff. Hardy to challenge. Austin Aries and the world titles at stake. That's our main event. Austin Aries, man, he's in the zone. He does not want to lose that world heavyweight title. But Jeff Hardy won the BFG Series. You got to be careful of Jeff Hardy, man. He'll come out of nowhere. Aries might be in trouble tonight. Plus, the future of aces and eights at stake when they face Sting and Bully Ray. Hulk Hogan says no disqualification. Yeah, we heard that. We heard that on our pre-show on Spike TV. No disqualification in that tag team match for Bully and Sting against aces and eights. That is huge also. You ready? Do I sound ready, Mike? I'm Do I ready. look ready? Everybody's ready here in Phoenix. Let's get bound for glory rolling. with a championship match. We open with the X Division title on the line. The following contest scheduled for one fall is for the X Division Championship. Introducing first from Battle Creek, Michigan, Robin Dam. Everybody's on their feet for the opening match at Battle Hopping. What a massive ovation for the whole effing show, baby. Let's just listen. General Manager Hulk Hogan, he gave the approval for RVD Thursday on Impact Wrestling. He said, you have the title shot. You can't doubt the success of the reigning champion, Seema Ion. But in my opinion, Taz, this has to be the toughest test to date for the X Division title holder. Well, I completely agree with you on that, my man. But I'll tell you, I like Seema Ion. This kid, he's tough as hell. And he has that take no prisoners attitude. Not cool the way he does it sometimes. Damn near took out the X Division, you know, basically division. Took him out by himself. Gonna be a tough sled. Taking that off his though. I'm telling you that. I think that the people in Phoenix, Arizona are ready for Bound for Glory. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go, X Division title. Zima, Zima Ion, one-on-one -on -one with Van Dam. A lot of experience. Of course, Van Dam's side in comparison to the champion. What a history of injuring his opponents we have seen from the X Division champ, Zima Ion. Goes back to the match against Jesse Sorensen. Very serious neck injury that Jesse suffered. You follow that up with, with matches against Dakota Darso, Sanjay Dutt, Doug Williams. They all have in common the fact that, that Ion in 
injured them, taking them out of the X division as Van Dam connects with quite a kick and then springs back. Well, I'm telling you from experience that Ralph Van. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, hold no, no, on. No, no, no. <laughs> Leave my eye on. You probably have some experience in terms of seeing RVD come at you like that. Yeah, I've been hit by it many a time. It's a lot nicer sitting here talking about it instead of feeling it. And I'm telling you that Van Dam is battle tested. And my point, my point about Van Dam being battle tested is no matter how many people and how many talented athletes and wrestlers, X Division wrestlers, that Zima has put out, good luck doing that to Van Dam. That's all I'm saying in my perspective, my opinion. I've tried myself to hurt Van Dam many a time. Trust me, drop this man on his head with loads of force and he got up and kept coming at me. That's, oh, a, that's a truth. Did you see the flexibility Amazing. as he dropped down? But you gotta give props to Zima. I, I saw, Zima. That, saw that quick opening, hit the drop kick and took out the base of Van Dam. I, I, I'm a fan of Zima's work. I mean, like I said, uh, during his entrance. But the thing is, he's got to stay in the zone here and not try to, wait a minute. Look at that. Wow. Twisting move, straight into the pin, into the cover with one leg hooked for two. If the, I, I'm sorry, ahead. I got, no, you go ahead. The one thing about the track record of Zima Ion in terms of injuring his X Division opposition has been the lack of remorse that Ion has shown. No question, he's colorful. He's flamboyant, and but he's the guy mocking, has zero heart. And he's mocking Van Dam. but yeah, I, I hear what you're saying about zero remorse, I, I know. Uh, but, you know, so, some would say that zero remorse shows that killer instinct. Oh, watch Van Dam. look at the Zima perched on the top. Oh my, man, right out in front of us here. Zima Ion got hung up on his yam band, then got his face kicked in. <laughs> This is what Van Dam does so well. He'll, he picks his spot. Doesn't really rush into too many things, but got caught by a good shoulder and a gut by the X Division champion right there, Zima Ion. But the reaction from Van Dam tells me that it didn't take that much wind out of him. However, Ion connects once again. Oh, oh and then straight this. in. Look at this. Attempted a DD. Oh. oh my God, what a oh, DDT. No. He spiked it. He dropped him on his head. Here's the pin attempt. Yeah. Champ on top gets just two. Wow, how do you yeah, kick out from that? You uh, pull right back on him again. You talked earlier about the resiliency of oh my RVD, God. but I mean, a move like that, that oh. a DDT at that angle. Let's, Guys, let's... if there's any way we can take another look. Yeah, here it is. Oh, oh damn, that's tough to watch. Good gosh, I'm just driven like an exclamation point right on the top of, his, on top of Van Damme's skull. And do not expect Zima Ion to give Van Dam any opportunity to recover. Right back on him with the offense. Into the corner where RVD has the elbow up. But Mike, well, let's let's be real here. I mean, you know, oh, whoa, 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 look out, guardrail. Oh, Van Dam is a massive threat to that exhibition championship that Zima holds so tightly. Plus, it's, it, it's just his mindset too. You know oh, he doesn't care about oh, injury. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wow! How about the adrenaline of the champ? with Van Dam. Oh, you're not going to see that much anywhere. Uh, well, that kind of <laughs> exuberance and athleticism and who I'm paying to you, in my opinion. Watch Take this. Take another look here. Ion rolls him back in as we look oh, live oh, also oh, in the pin. Oh, and oh. No. Well, the action in this X Division opening title match so amazing that every time we go to a replay, we run the risk of losing that next pin attempt. But such sensational moves that you're only going to see one place, and that's here, Impact Wrestling, TNA, in the X Division. The point I was making is about the lack of remorse that Zima Ion has shown. I mean, I think that, you know, towards taking out so many wrestlers on the X Division roster, I think that shows that killer instinct, that attitude that I'm gonna stay at the top of the heap and I'm taking heads out. I personally think that's a good trait to have. I just don't think it's cool the way Zima has done it. 
He's done some of that stuff very cheaply the way he's hurt guys. You know, that, that's what I'm saying. I, I, so you don't mind the no remorse aspect of it? Right. I just think that it's just been done a little bit on a cheap side from Zima. You notice that the offense of Zima Ion, ever since that DDT, it's been directed to the upper body, to the head of Van Dam. That's the, that's the trait of a very good wrestler, a guy who knows what he's doing in Zima Ion. Watch Van Dam, maybe he can get some. Uh... Oh, wow. He rolled through, he was going to go for the monkey flip. Yeah. But Ooh. Ion saw it coming, the perfect counter and strategy. Look, 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 look. Look at how fast oh, he is. Man, missile drop kick into the face. The Zima Ion, man. He is, he's like a damn video game. He's so talented. Watch the there pin. Arm of the rope, arm of the rope right there by, by Rob. I don't think referee got, kind of got hung up in it, Brian Hefner. Ring awareness of the veteran RVD with his arm under the ropes, breaking the plane, but still only able to gain a two count was the defending champ. Again, this is that toughness that Van Dam has that some people you know, if you've, you've never been in the ring with Van Dam, don't realize that you know, Van Dam don't come off like he's a tough guy. That's not his style, you know? But he is so damn tough and uh, just talented and flexible and, and hard hitting. So you got to keep this type of offense, this arsenal on a Van Dam when he's coming after your exhibition title if you're Zima Iron. I, I think Zima's doing a great job. A kind of stretch, stretch yeah, yeah, submission attempt. But it's stopped by Van Dam, and Ion's right there. First it's the kick, then the forearm shot, but RVD has an answer for those forearms. Well, I think we can tell who our live audience here in Phoenix <laughs> like. <laughs> Fully in support of the challenger. Phoenix is behind Van Dam. Oh! <laughs> Ion elevated Woo! into the air. Oh, and in mid-move, it's Van Dam with the drop kick. That was pretty cool. Maybe a little roll of thunder action here. Bam. Follow up to the rolling thunder is Van Dam. Quickly, one fluid motion to the top. Champs down. Oh, five star frog splash off the top. Can Van Dam get the cover? Can Van Dam get this cover here? We're find out right here, right now. New champ. Contest, congratulations to our new X Division champion, Rob Van Dam. Wow. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you kick off a pay per view event. That's how you kick off Bound for Glory as we go back and review the five star. Well, that was just nothing but impact on that five star frog splash. Rob Van Dam's deal right there, buddy. Once he hits you with it, if you get that cover, he's going to get the victory. And Van Dam did it, and he also is the new X Division champion. Wow. The first ever meeting between Zima Ion and RVD shows us that Rob Van Dam is the new X Division champion as we send it to the back in our broadcast partner, Jerry Dorch. History already made tonight here at Bound for Glory, and we are just getting started. Backstage is buzzing right now, and we are bringing you all kinds of exclusive content on both our Facebook and Twitter pages. Make sure and use that hashtag TNABFG all night long tonight. Coming up next here at Bound for Glory, the matchup for the World Television Championship. My guest at this time, Magnus challenging the Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe. And Magnus, we've got a question off of Twitter. Tony wants to know, do you consider your match tonight the most important in your career thus far? It's the biggest night for all of us, JB. It's the biggest night for you, the biggest night for me, the biggest night for the company. It's bound for glory. Phoenix, Arizona. Thousands in attendance, millions around the world. The biggest night of the year, the night that the Mag Daddy finally gets his chance to become world television champion but that's not why it's the biggest night for me it's because tonight jb i am a free man i have broken out of political prison 
No more hiding behind Hulk Hogan for you, Samoa Joe. No more hiding behind the front office. So I have a question for you, my friend. How do you recover from the most devastating loss of your career? All right, World Television Championship match is now here at Bound for Glory. JB's right. What better way to follow up on a title match with a new X Division champion in RVD than with another championship bout? TV titles at stake. That's what Bound for Glory is all about. Let's do it. The following contest scheduled for one fall is for the television championship. Introducing first from Kingsland, England, Madness. I would like to point out, because I'll be the gentleman of the team, that our ring announcer, Christy Hemi, looks ravishingly, gorgeously, beautifully tonight. I think you're there's reading, You're, you're reading my notes. No, I'm not reading it. You, you <laughs> take notes? It's when you take notes. I take notes. Anyway, I digress. Title time. TD Championship at stake. Magnus, the role of the challenger, and he is going to face his former world tag team champion partner. These two have quite a history. We're going to talk about it throughout this title bout. And his opponent from the Isle of Samoa, your television champion and the Samoan submission machine. Samoa Joe became television champion for the first time. He joined an elite group. He's a Grand Slam champion in TNA. World Heavyweight Champion, World Tag Team Champion, X Division title holder, and now the defending TV champion. Well, I sat down with Joe earlier today. We had a, we had a little chat. And he said, Tad, I am so fired up tonight to pick apart the body of Magnus and defend my television championship. He seemed fired up, man. I could see it in his eyes. It's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon at the time. 2 o'clock Eastern, that would be. I'm still screwed up on the time zone, <laughs> zone change deal. Yes, we are live in Phoenix, Arizona. Pacific time here, Taz. Yeah, I know. Pacific got it. East, West got it. Here we go, TV title, baby, let's do it! You think back to the Bound for Glory series, and Samoa Joe was always up near the top of the leaderboard. But then think about Magnus and the steel chair to the arm of Samoa Joe and what that did to Joe's chances. And to your point, going right after the arm was Magnus in the very first move of the, that he used was a ringer. Arm ringer now, and that's far as carry, so an arm bar. So I guess that not only are you reminding myself and our audience about that steel chair from Magnus to the arm of Joe, but the game plan for Magnus is right out here in front of us. Go for that arm, it looks like. And I'm sure that that is something that is still in the back of the mind of Samoa Joe, realizing how close he came to winning the Bound for Glory series, how close Samoa Joe came to being in the main event tonight, challenging for the world heavyweight title. Instead, the career path of Joe led him to the opportunity to become television champion as a result of our general manager, Hulk Hogan. Joe victorious, and now it's a title defense for the Samoan submission machine. There's no, way, there's no way you can trust Magnus. No, no, nobody can trust Magnus, and he's shady from the word go. He's gonna look at you, he's gonna smile to your face, and he's gonna end up stabbing you in the back. Oh, the guy's got a million dollar smile. Kidding me, anybody that good looking, you can't trust. You and I wouldn't know that. But <laughs> that reversal right there by Joe and Oh, oh man. Oh. Oh. Followed off with that kick, beautifully done by the TV champ. Magnus checking to see if he had any teeth that were moved around wow, as Joe's teeth. Teeth might be getting knocked out now. Ooh. Rapid fire, piston like right hands by Samoa Joe. Uh, Magnus pleading with the referee. Oh, get him back, get him back. Wow. Right over to referee Brian Stifler's head, just sucker punching Samoa Joe. Look for that little opening. 
Suck at the man. And you see that sense of urgency. How, oh, Magnus going after Joe. What a chop. Uppercuts of Magnus, answered by Joe. Surprisingly, the quick move by Magnus. The clothesline that just decked the well, champ. I'm not too surprised. I mean, Magnus is a, he's a, he's a large young man. He's a big, big kid. I mean, big, muscular, tall guy, but very athletic, very quick. Fleet-footed, as they say in his, uh, <laughs> his U, uh, UK guy, right? But, but, but guy. they only say fleet-footed in, in, in yeah. the UK? Yeah, they, they don't say, say it in Red Hook, not in Brooklyn. No, they say it in England. Okay. Huh. Fleet-footed. They got all the English flags in the front. The UK uh, Union Jack. Right. World travel. Right. Look at this, Joe. Stinging jabs, and look at that athleticism I just told you about. Yeah, so impressive for a guy his size. First the leapfrog, and then the jumping high knee. Again, with all that height that Magnus has, he can do that jumping high knee, and Magnus is like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, he's even taller than me. Yeah, he just gets that knee up there. Just barely. Correct. He just gets that knee connecting on the jaw of Joe. And keeping the pressure on Joe. That's what you gotta do if you're gonna try and take that television championship. Oh, oh. Well, that was nice. Running, jumping elbow. Driven to the back of Joe while his neck was across the steel cable, the follow pin, and two count for the challenger. Well, not easy to get a pin on Samoa Joe, so you really gotta stay on the guy. You gotta really wear Joe down. The offense of Magnus. The deliberate moves, yet so effective as Joe fights back. The open hand slaps the right to the left. Whoa, 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 whoa. Magnus digs down deep. The adrenaline rushes through as he drives Joe straight down to the canvas. Could we have we go. a come new on, TV champ? There we go. Oh! That was a little closer than uh, I expected, I gotta say. Let's take a look at what happened here to Joe. Right on the Man. back of his neck, all that weight. Right on the back of the head and neck of Samoa Joe. Well done by Magnus. Magnus brings Joe back up to his feet. Oh. Bum rushes him back first into the corner. Oh. These guys were, as we said, a, a tag team. I mean, they were they were kind of like team champs. Yeah, we're all tag team champs, and they they worked really well together, and had a definitely had a teamwork thing going on and a bond. Oh man, they were bonded down with a knee of Joe and the uh, the sack of Magnus. <laughs> Watch the senton. Backsplash one. Backsplash two. Not enough for three. Oh, oh. And Joe, he amped it up real quick. Snap slam. Straight into the pin. Another near fall. How strong is Joe? To just take someone the size of Magnus Ooh. on the run. Scoop power slam and that quick snap him down. I agree with all. Capacity crowd here in Phoenix, Arizona. This is awesome. No leapfrog that time. Straight oh. down, power bomb style. Single leg. Oh, oh. Is he going to go STM? Yeah, sure is. That's exactly what it is. The cross face applied. He's got the leg hooked in great fight at the same time. Him. Is he going to tap right now? I thought he did tap. He, I thought oh, he tapped no. again. I, I think what he's doing is he's moving forward towards the rope. He's got to be I don't careful. Think he's tapping. That's a call for the referee, Brian Stifler looking right at it. Yeah, that looked like, well, it wasn't a tap, you're right, he was crawling. Oh, oh he ain't crawling Joe now. Joe seizes, Joe seizes both arms now. He might have to tap with his tongue. Magnus is in no man's land. No chance for a rope break here. How can he tap? He's gonna snap his shoulders, Joe. They just have to verbally say, I give. Those long legs of Magnus. Oh, that's a smart move. That helped him. Able to shift his body around, extend the leg, and just make that contact for the rope break. Yeah, that hold does not have to be on your body long to, to wear you down, and Magnus just Ooh. dodged a big <laughs> Samoan <laughs> bullet. And you could, you could sense that by the look on the face of the challenger. Straight to the corner. Usually that means muscle buster time. Well, Magnus, he's got the eyes. He, yeah, he raked up Joe's eyes. Joe may have telegraphed the move there. A little opening for Magnus. Oh, man. So if that was a back punch or a chop to the chest. Oh. Oh. Magnus really did not have good separation in terms of those forearm shots. 
Ooh. Oh, Joe knocked him off the top of that Ooh, right in the mouth. With a perfectly placed knee. That knee was right in the mouth of Samoa Joe. Right on the jaw, right on the button. Joe might be knocked out here, Mike. With Joe down, Magnus decides now's the time to go high risk. And hits the top throw elbow drop. You might get a new television champ here, my friend. Recovers. And extends, hooks the far leg. No! Oh. Magnus can't believe that he just did not get the three count. Magnus can't understand how he didn't become TV champ. He screams at Joe to get up. And as Joe gets to a knee, Magnus right on him. Shot to the back. Another forearm. Oh. You can look, see the Joe. Look at Joe's face. Oh, he's getting amped up here. He's getting, oh my God. That primal scream by Joe and these shots. Punches to the face. Uh-oh. Went for that close line again. Not this time. There it is. Rear naked choke. Magnus floats back out of the corner. Joe's shoulders are down. No, just two. Excellent counter by the challenger by Magnus. Great job. Didn't get the win, but it was excellent. Float over by Joe. Choke, and choke. there it is. Kakina clutch, rear naked choke. Submission applied. Drop down jawbreaker by Magnus. Well, Joe's not hiding, hiding what he's trying to do. He keeps going for that rear choke. Oh, he oh. chop blocked him. Nice clip of that knee there by Magnus. That's a good no, way to tear an MCL or an ACL. I was just going to say, think of the potential for injury as Joe writhing in pain. I mean, that, that, it, that in, in, injured leg of Joe. Oh, Magnus going to try to take. Oh, he went oh, for the oh. figure four. But Joe able to get him in the choke. He's Look at the great right positioning. He's got him dead center. He's got the double grape chin. He's got that choke on. Is Magnus going to tap? He taps. He taps. <laughs> Awesome, awesome match. Great showing right there by Magnus. Nothing to be ashamed of there. Samoa Joe got that knee clip. And good gosh, once that back was turned, he hooked in that rear choke. Got the double grape in, double grape vine. You got about it. You got to tap out. Champion victorious as we take another yeah, watch. He was going for the figure four right yeah, here. He saw the opening, Joe did. Once he turned his back real quick, hooked in the rear choke. The key is the legs. The double grapevine, that's the key to, to just keep your opponent at bay. No moving with a rear choke from behind when those grapes are in. What a match. Samoa Joe is still the television champion tonight at Bound for Glory as we once again send it to JB. Coming up next here at Bound for Glory, a matchup one year in the making with special guest enforcer King Mo. It is the Cowboy James Storm versus my guest at this time, the It Factor, Bobby Roode, set to do battle in a street fight. 12 months, one long year this has been building but let's face it this hatred between James and I it's been going on a lot longer than one year we've hated each other our entire career and King Mo if you think you're going to get in my face if you think you're going to stop the it factor from ending James Storm's career here tonight at Bound for Glory you have another thing coming James Storm need I remind you that you have never ever beaten me as a matter of fact the last time i beat you was at lockdown inside the steel cage and after that you took your ball and you went home well after i kick your ass here tonight and end your career i'm sending you home forever all right it is up next the street fight let's take a very special look at james storm versus bobby Roode. 10 years to build a company. Four years to build a friendship. James Storm, Bobby Roode, Beer Money. You know, the tag team that put tag teams on the map. I will stop at nothing to win every match. Don't you think I'm gonna hold back? Absolutely not. Bobby Roode, 
are you taking this from a personal issue to a I just want to kick the crap out of you issue? But let me make this perfectly clear to you, Storm. You will never, ever be as good as me. And as long as the it factor is around, you will never, ever be a world heavyweight champion. This is the, the definition of bad blood between these two. This is my time. This is my destiny. I have led the whole Bound for Glory series. It's my time to be Bound for Glory. James Storm, so determined and so focused to prove a point and to do one thing, to become world heavyweight champion once again. Last call, super kick. What the hell? This thing's been spinning out of control for over a year now. So to straighten this rude storm mess out, I'm bringing in a special enforcer. He's the master disaster, the man that snapped, crackling pops, each and all your bones. It's the MMA champion, King Mo. I don't give a damn about some Bellator fighter, cause this is my world! Hulk Hogan brought me out here to do my thing, and that's what I'm coming to do. If anyone gets in my way, it's crunch time. I'm gonna bloody him up. I'm gonna break his neck. I'm gonna break every bone in his body if I can. It's released! I hope you're willing to die, because you're gonna have to kill me to beat me Sunday! I would die to save my daughter's life. I would die to save any of my family members' life, my best friend. I'm not gonna die to win a wrestling match, but I will come down close. King Mo is the special enforcer when the it factor of professional wrestling Bobby Roode faces cowboy James Storm in a street fight. decision. MMA superstar King Mo is going to be the special enforcer for this matchup. You know that King Mo is not going to be intimidated. No, ain't nobody going to intimidate that man right there. Totally agree with that. So, I mean, I think this is a perfect move, uh, you know, as I said recently, that Hulk Hogan, our general manager, did here. Keep some kind of uh, cooler heads between this bout we're about to, to witness. Introducing first from Toronto, Canada, Bobby Roode! I think a lot of people will tell you that in the 10-year history of this TNA organization, that tag team that was known as Beer Money, arguably the best team ever. But that relationship, that friendship, and that team, it was all shattered. And it was shattered just like the beer bottle that this man, Bobby Roode, used over the head of his former tag team partner, the Cowboy James Storm. Well, in my view, it was about the World Heavyweight Championship more than anything, because that's all it was about to this man, Bobby Roode, at that time when he was, you know, he wanted to just, he didn't care. He Do cared about his family, right. his friends, anyone. It was all about World Championship. That was it. And you know, Cowboy James Storm, he felt the brunt of that bottle across the skull, as you said. Well, now we're gonna get it on the street fight. Sorry about your damn luck. Drama, quick swimming, moonshine sipping. And his opponent, Billy for Sport Tennessee, the Cowboy. Plain and simple, no disqualification, anything goes. When you look at those rules, do you sense that the street fight favors either man more than the other? I don't know. I mean, I, with those type of rules, I, I got to lean towards the Cowboy. Hell of a brawler. Yeah, he's, you know, definitely, you know, Cowboy James Storm's been in a couple of balls, uh, balls in his day. He's definitely been in a couple of balls in his day. We know that. <laughs> so, you know, there's some brawls there, so... 
Referee, senior official, Carl Hebner gonna handle everything in the confines of the ring. And King Mo, the special enforcer, as a result of the ruling by general manager Hulk Hogan, is there to assist Earl Hebner in case things get out of control. And how can they get out of control? Oh, With the history here. between these two, oh, here we and go. the street fight rules that were put into place by Hogan. I mean, this has just been a long time coming. Just these, these two men, this is, this, it's come to a head, and we're at that head right now. Just imagine all those years of being on the road together, training together, traveling together. Four, four years as a team. Exactly, being away from, from, your, from individual families, families during that time. Uh, breaking bread together on the road, you know what I mean? All done, all, all that, all that done right now. Great elevation out of the corner. As Storm hits the big time back body drop. Storm charges and is taken out to the floor. And this is part of the street fight rules. Uh oh, uh oh. Ooh, right in front of the broadcast table, the head of Bobby Roode was extended over the apron. And Great Storm kick in the face the there, buddy. Great kick right in the faces, right. And you see King Moe's right there, just making sure it don't get crazy out here. Special enforcer looking on right over the shoulder of senior official Earl Hebner. Guardrail gonna come into play. Side of the ring, that apron area, just absolutely no give at that no. point in the ring. No, very, no, very, very, definitely the hardest part of the ring is the side. That's where everything meet, meets up. So it's to ram someone's face or head into that apron definitely hurts like hell. Everything is in play. Oh, look at this. Mo don't like, he don't, he don't like Rude. We saw him knock Rude on his ass. You know what I mean? On impact, so, oh! Distraction as oh, Rude this. came face to face with King Mo. I don't think Mo likes anybody. I think King Mo, I don't think he likes anybody. He's all business. I love it. That's what he's here for. Not here to make friends. Storm decides to use the steel chair This is on all Rude. legal here. This is all legal. Oh! Guardrail just moved back. We're supposed to do it. Oh! Side Russian leg sweep by Storm. The back of Rude crashing off the steel. That's definitely insane physicality right there. Bobby Roode in bad shape here. We can just sense the confidence level of the Cowboy James Storm. Boy, you're just a couple of feet away here, from buddy. us here, bud. Yeah. Wait, well, wait, 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 wait. There's your invitation to move. Are you kidding me? He just pointed right at it. <laughs> Somebody should have given me a longer wire here. Oh, He's my God. Go, I had a storm. He's going to try and use it. I had a storm right here in front of us. But the table goes I of the storm. But Counted, though. Root counted out of it. Down. And then Root comes fighting back with an elbow shot. Quick double Rude, leg yeah. by Root. Slip shot! The catapult. Oh. See the catapult has. Storm goes head first into the post, right into the steel. Perfect timing of doing what he had to do right there by Root. Leveled the playing field and then some. Oh my, take, take a look at the monitor, Taz. You can't see. Yeah, I can see it, yeah. Here, but you can pick it up on the monitor. The busted head, open, the man. The head of Storm has been busted wide open after he went into the post. Again, all legal here, street fight. Look at the, look at the blood. Look at the blood flow from the head of Storm. Yeah, Storm don't even know where the hell he's at. Robert Rude he just grabbed the steel chair to my right here. There he goes. Oh! Watch out. Oh my God! God! This is what a street fight is all about. And oh, with the blood now pouring out of the head of Storm. Rude's right on him. 
This is kind of what we envision. Complete raging violence here. Now what? It's a weak and score. Oh man, he's got a kendo stick here, Mike. Get himself a kendo stick. Storm down to a knee, and Storm tried to get up in the corner, but he just went right back down. And Bobby Roode now is wedging the steel chair between the top and the middle oh. corner. The Look kendo that. Oh, stick Storm. that Roode introduced is now used by Storm as a weapon. Storm just first he gutted him, and then it just nasty sh shot across the back. Uh oh. Oh man, look what that whoa, 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 whoa. steel ch garbage can is. What about the loss of blood here, Taz? That, that, that's coming into play. Oh, but Storm able to recover. Uh, I think I think Rude might have lost a little blood too. Storm swinging, Storm swinging for the fences and connected. Oh my God, could you imagine that? Bad vibration there. And, and it's all legal because it's a street fight. Great job by Bobby Root to see Storm coming, got himself out of the way. Man, he is, I'll tell you what, I mean, James Storm is just bleeding buckets out there. And you can sense the intentions of Bobby Roode. Ooh. Oh my God. Outside in shoulder block by Storm enables him to avoid the steel trash can. And now he's got Look at this, look at this. Rude draped across the road. Oh. oh, and the DDT. I can tell you, there's absolutely zero give for that, that entrance King Mo. the reaction of yeah, Mo. Even King Mo realized it. He witnessed, he had a bird's eye view of it. And that platform, that walkway, stiff as hell. That was the offense by the Cowboy. Hold on, Cowboy just got himself a little. He's got a crutch? A little assistance there from uh, one of our fans. Here, just just that DDT here, boom! Just driving the face and head of Rude. Oh my God! Talk about getting Rude's head driven. Look at that. Uh oh. Look you. My God. Welcome to TNA, King Mo! Oh, God! Oh, oh, oh buddy! Damn, this, that was something! This oh. is just as violent, just as brutally physical as we all anticipated. Can't even see, you can't even see no, Storm's can't. face. Yeah, I think he's having problems when you said he can't even see. Burns, I, too. I, I, I think, I think that the blood rolling down into the eyes yeah, may have oh, yes, Oh, my oh. God! It's spine buster I think by, that, by Rude, but that one was on the ramp. Well, to your point, I think Storm being blinded by his own blood was part of that. I've had that happen to me. You can't see. It's thick as hell when it's on your face, your own blood. It feels like a mask, really, and I, I, I think that he, Storm couldn't see and he got caught with that spine buster. Got to be a huge detriment going forward in this match for Storm. Because, I mean, with, with your vision impaired, sure, absolutely. As, as much as it is, it's going to be difficult for Storm. As, as I, as I look across and, and, and see Rude, I think Roots, Roots. He's got a little open. blood on his forehead. I don't know, maybe that's. Oh, not sure if it was from maybe one of those trash can shots on the ramp. Is that the Cowboy taking a. Yeah, a little beer bath. No, oh, that's definitely not the oh. first time that's happened to himself. Wow. Watch out, man. Oh, God. This thing could go out anywhere you want it to go. Oh, watch out, Mike. Each other head first into this 
broadcast table. This is bad here. This is bad. What he's going to do. He'll do whatever the hell he wants. The cowboy can do whatever he wants right now. Look at the amount of blood that's pouring out of Root's head. Mike, get out of the way there, buddy. Oh, my God. I got nowhere to go. Loads of impact right there. It, it, it looked it looked like Storm was trying to suplex. Really oh, this replay we can't get to the monitor, but yeah, that, that was it. That was just. Just tackling, spearing, Bobby Roode spearing Storm right through our, our Spanish announcers to that table, their announce table. Back in, into the ring. Got him, Hubbard. got him. Oh. Man, how the hell did Taylor James kick out there? What a Come broadcast on, table, Taylor. It's loaded with blood. It's we need somebody to clean our table. Covered. We can't see out here. We need something. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Referee Earl Hebner pushing to the corner. Special enforcer King Mo. No intimidation for, for the king. Oh, it's up here, yeah. King Mo right in the grill here. A rude. This is nuts. Oh, oh man. Well, where does Storm get the energy to pull off a move like that? After everything that he's gone through, after being put through the Spanish broadcast table here at Mesa. Uh, 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 King Mo playing the role of a great assistant. Watch in the back. Tough referee Earl Hebner there. That's a special enforcer. And now the Cowboy, he might be feeling a little last call. Kick out. Everyone here in Phoenix, Arizona, anticipating that that last call super kick was going to be the move that gave Storm the victory, but no Rude powered out at two. Well, I, I don't. I don't remember the last time I've seen that happen, Mike. I got to tell you. That was damn impressive right there by Bobby Root to kick out. Uh-oh, Mike, hold on. Looks like, the, cow looks like the Cowboys got Root in his sights. Went, went for the last call again. Oh, spun around, doubled over. Oh, got that chair. Here's the roll of the Root's corner. Got Root's, Root's got, got him. him. He's got the tight hook. He's got the tight hook. And Storm kicked out at two. Root can't believe it. How the hell did Storm do that? You got me, man. I don't know. Huh. This thing is freaking physical as hell out here. Now, Storm is weakened. You can sense the confidence in Rude as he elevates and lifts Storm to the top corner. Oh, my God. Look and with blows. every right hand, the blood just flows. Just imagine the size of a wound in the head of the cowboy. The amount of blood this man has lost. We talked about the emotion in this battle, hence why the street fight, all the stuff, the friendship they had, the brotherhood they had, gone. Rude going underneath the ring. What the hell is he looking I don't know. for under there? Looking for something. Well, right now, the cowboy's still perched up on the top, and Rude going to grab another chair. Storm just barely hanging on for life. Up in the corner. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Rude with the chair waffle storm across the back. He just wants to wear the man down. Now what? Oh, you don't think. What's this? It is a street fight. Anything goes. And wow. Oh, my God. Those attacks, folks. Big, fat, huge.
Edge, sharp tax. Rude spreads them out. Going to go to the corner. Storm is in trouble. Here comes the superplex. He's going, to the He's going all the way, all the way to the top. Storm fighting him off with rights. They exchange up at the top. Storm fighting his fight is off. My God! Back oh. first goes rude. Oh, oh God. you can see the tax sticking in the back of rude. Oh, oh. God, that's gotta hurt. It's stuck on his back. Storm, get it! Get it! Come on! Here we go! One, two! Oh! Wow! Just when you think you've seen it all, just when you think that Storm's got him again, no luck. Rude's no luck. still alive. With that low blow right there oh, again, no. all legal. That's right. All legal. Uh. Got Lord. tax all over his oh, body. God. Bobby Roode's got tax in his rear end. He's got tax in his upper back, elbow, everything. Low road, cheap shot by Roode. Uh, and if, if you think back, Taz, this is really what started. This is this is what started this rivalry between these two. The smashing of the beer bottle over the head of Storm is. Oh! Low blow by Storm, but that's legal. He answers the low blow of Rude. And now the Cowboy, he's got himself a little cold beverage. Rude up. Oh, God. Glass flies everywhere. Gruesome. That was gory. That was just nasty. What physicality and violence in that street fight. The cowboy James Storm. He's your victor. It took him a year. But the cowboy finally did it. He overcomes all those personal issues. And he just gained his redemption right there with the last call. That was, that was, I mean, listen, that was an extreme physical war. Nasty, boy, nasty. Even the special enforcer, King Mo, shaking his head. He can't yeah. believe what he just witnessed tonight at Bound for Glory. Oh, boy, I cannot wait to see this replay package. What you don't we see got, guys, guys getting hit with beer bottles in uh, MMA fights, you know what I'm saying? But you know what? King Mo did a great job out here. He was shot. And again, we talked about the physicality of violence amongst these men and the brotherhood they used to have. And how about that, man? Right through our, our Spanish announcers to their table. And that was the last call, I think, that where Rude was able to kick out, which was shocking, and Rude incorporated those tacks, which backfired on him. Speaking of back, look at that. Rude lands back first. Storm follows from the top. He hits the elbow drop and then crashes and smashes. Well, that's how this whole thing started, you know? True. I mean, you know, we saw that. Wow. And that last call, that one hit its mark after the beer bottle. Yeah, the beer bottle is how it all started, and the last call is how it all ended. That's why it's called last call, buddy.
You've experienced that. Don't have to kick anyway. <laughs> Storm is all fired up, man. He's and damn right he should be. He's just happy. He's been waiting for over a year for this very moment. Just a crazy redneck going nuts in the desert. Gotta love it. What a match. Street fight goes to the cowboy. Take it, JB. We need to clean up. You know, Bound for Glory is the pay-per-view event every year where careers can be made. And tonight, no exception. As my guest at this time steps into the ring against Al Snow, your one-night opportunity could turn out to be a full-time job here at Impact Wrestling. Joey Ryan, are you set for this matchup tonight? Listen, JB, I don't want to scream and I don't want to shout. I just want to speak the truth. And the truth is that I should have been handed a contract before I even competed on gut check. But I went through with the match and I became a worldwide trend on Twitter. And 87% of the TNA audience said yes to Joey Ryan. You were there, you know. But because Al Snow and the other gut check judges feel like they know what the audience wants more than the audience themselves, I got told no. Now, how asinine is that? But tonight, it all changes. Tonight, if I, when I defeat Al Snow, I will become a full-time member of the Impact Wrestling roster. Now, they say opposites attract. And on one hand, you have Al Snow, a disgusting man, best known for carrying around and talking to a severed head. And on the other hand, you have Joey Ryan, best known for his rock star charisma and his movie star good looks. Al Snow, don't forget, we're on the West Coast now, and Joey Ryan is a West Coast guy. That means I have home field advantage. So your politicking will not save you tonight. So hashtag it, TNA BFG, hashtag it, Joey Ryan, because tonight, Joey Ryan is bringing sleazy back to Bound for Glory. All right, it's coming up next. Joey Ryan faces Al Snow here at Bound for Glory. Joey Ryan is a man with rock star charisma, a man with movie star good looks. The one constant for me is professional wrestling. When it came down to deciding what I wanted to be when I grow up, uh, it was the one thing that I never lost. It was the one thing that I've always liked. It's one thing that's, that's, that's in my heart forever. Joey Ryan is money, and where I come from, you don't leave money on the table because somebody else might come by and pick it up. 87% of the fans said yes, and they said no. That's a problem with this company. They don't care what the fans think. They have their own agendas. You're pathetic. I'm pathetic. The show's pathetic. I have the confidence, I have the ability, and I have the 87 percenters behind me. Joey Ryan is bringing Sleazy back live on Spike TV, live in the Impact Zone. How are you gonna do, you corporate stewards? Not this guy again, Joey Ryan at ringside. You wanted an opportunity, then you're gonna fight me to get it. You can't touch me, I'm gonna sue you. You are an executive representing this company. You're not a wrestler anymore. So when some guy comes in here, doesn't earn a contract, and still wants to come in, disrupt, gets under your skin, what do you do? You're the unprofessional one. You put your hands on him. You don't need an executive hitting an uncontracted wrestler. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. I made a mistake. I, I, you made a big mistake, Al. I so I expect you to fix it. I would like to, on the behalf of TNA and Impact Wrestling, and as an executive of TNA and Impact Wrestling, apologize for my actions. Why don't you go ahead and share with everyone the other agreement that our legal counsel came to? I have here a contract for Joey Ryan it's on behalf of Impact Wrestling. The newest, newest TNA Impact Wrestling superstar! You probably should have read this a little more closely. You don't have a permanent spot on the Impact roster yet. This contract's only for one night. 
bound for glory in Phoenix, Arizona. You have your chance to be a star. You have your opportunity to be on the Impact roster. And your opponent is me. I am going to beat your ass. I'll see you in Phoenix. It goes back several months ago. A gut check event that Taz, you're very familiar with. Yeah. You know, I mean, listen, I gave an opinion. I was the last judge at that in that particular judging to go, and I didn't feel like this guy had it. That was it. So I said no, and he threw his fit. That's basically what happened. <laughs> I mean, really. Well, that was the start. That was the start. And his opponent. start. The next step was one of your fellow gut check judges, Al Snow, having to deal with Joey Ryan showing up at the impact zone, the disturbances from Joey Ryan, until it got to the point where Al Snow nailed him with that shot. Oh, yeah, I, absolutely. Uh, and, you know, listen, I, I can understand this. Uh, I, listen, if you're, if you're Al Snow, he's, Joey's definitely gotten under his skin a little bit. Again, Joey Ryan, not a contracted competitor on our roster. Well, he is for one night well, true, tonight. True. At, the, at the time when Al Snow hit him with the punch, he was not under contract. And you recall that, that Bruce Pritchard brought that to Al Snow's attention because of the legal threats that were issued by Joey Ryan. Recently on Impact Wrestling, we saw where Al Snow outsmarted Joey Ryan Joey thought he was getting a full-time contract, but it was for one night, one match, this match. And you know, see, to me, the big thing here, this is obviously a, a massive match for Joey Ryan. Because if he wins, you know, what happens? Full-time. Full-time deal, full-time contract. Massive for Joey. But the, the, the bad thing for Joey, that's the good news for Joey, right, if he wins. <laughs> the bad thing is he's on, this is the biggest stage that Joey Ryan's ever been a part of, let's be honest. Where no, Al no Snow, question. Now, Snow is a seasoned vet. He's in a referee's position and slamming the mat. It's a challenge to Joey yeah, Ryan. I, I know what it is. I know, I know that. And I know that Al is also... I'm not explaining it to you. Al I'm explaining it to the people at, at home. Al, thank you. Al is a definitely... Listen, outside of the ring, Al is a pro. He's a gentleman. He's a professional. In the ring, Al kind of loses his mind a little bit. I've wrestled Al many times over the years, and he's a nut job. Let's be honest. The guy is has a bond with, like... A fake head, you know, a skull head. Yeah. It's kind of weird. But anyway, like I was saying, the grand stage. Look at that. It's nice to tell Joey Ryan he still has it. No kidding. You never talk it. it. They're not chanting that for Joey Ryan, you nuts. <laughs> you talked about, in terms of the big stage, how this is the first opportunity for Joey Ryan to be at yeah. an event like this, in front well, of a crowd like well, this, in front of an get, audience like this. Let me like get this. a word and I'll explain my point. I was, so, I was then going to point out the experience edge that Al Snow also has, if you don't mind, but go ahead and make your point now. Well, Al showing, his, ex traffic. <laughs> Al showing his experience, because look at Joey's full of wild punches and no one's there, and Al's just having his way with him. I mean, right now, it looks like Joey is definitely in over his head with a guy like Al who's been wrestling probably since about 1910. Well, it's a <laughs> It's a maniacal look on the face of Al Snow as he's, he is, he's just toying. Well, look at how Al takes his time, his pacing. It, you know, that's the thing. And he got into Joey's head with going into referee stance, challenging, challenging Joey. And Joey's, see, he's shooting a hot dog right there. Joey's shooting a showboat because he got slapped in his face. Well, that's part of the inexperience. Well, that you would do something like that in a match this important. Oh, wow, it's got popped in the eye with that elbow. That, that hit its ball. Trust me, I... <laughs> Been on the receiving that. end? Yeah. And everything that Joey does, Al is maybe two or three steps ahead of him. So, it, And it's been that way since the opening bell. Yeah, Joey about to get slammed hard here. Good old-fashioned body slam. Worked perf perfectly. 
Powered me down. Perfectively. Perfectively? That made no and sense. And effect. This is a combination of perfect and effectively. It's one of those Taz-isms. I'll, I'll just translate. It's the same thing, but different. So anyway, Al Snow. <laughs> Side headlock takedown. Look at Joey. Tried to go for a head scissors, and Al just slipped out. Al just, this, this is, is a like wrestling lesson. This is a clinic. A day off for Al. No, Al's still in great shape. He's part of our training. He helps train a lot of, you know, our younger wrestlers and stuff. So Al definitely, no ring rust on Al. He still goes. He's still a competitor. That, in addition to being one of the gut check judges, along with Taz and Bruce Pritchard. You better give Bruce Pritchard's title. He might get hot at you. You know, he's got a bad temper, that guy. You're not kidding. What's he, senior VP? You seen his business cards? Yeah, I know, they're like gold and stuff. Oh, I know. Anyway, look at Joey now. He loves, he just loves, he, he's all about, oh wow, what a shot. Joey's all about sleaze, right? He's all about he's bringing sleazy back. He's a big uh, social media guru, this guy. He's all obsessed with that. And brags about the sleaze factor. There's nothing wrong with sleaze. Hmm. Ooh. Suplex by Ryan and the pin. I don't even know if it got him a one count. Stifler says, yes, just one. Well, see, I, I'm impressed right here with Joey did. He had a, a flurry of offense and he's not rushing into anything. Listen, Joey Ryan, he's not a, a rookie per se. This guy has been around the block on the independent scene, a lot of success, and True. he gets it done. He knows what he's doing. And that's not why I said no. I just in that moment, what I witnessed in his match and what I witnessed in his promo, I personally just didn't think it was there. But Joey, obviously, since then, has been working hard and putting it out there. And right now, he's got Al Snow literally on the ropes here. Snow goes back first into the corner. Boy, talk about the complexion of a match. Oh, yeah, look, a nice punch right there. A beautiful punch. See, Joey's wrestling now with an edge. He's wrestling with an attitude. And when we saw him compete on gut check, he wrestled like a slug. Let's be honest. Now he's putting it out there. This is what the kid should have did back when he had his audition. Now I'm getting hot. Sliding through is Snow. That's, oh. that's a veteran move. Avoid the corner turnbuckles. Come back with full-fledged offense, which sends Ryan ooh, off the ropes. Wow. And then up and over with the back body. And now Snow, he turned the tide here real well. Uh-oh. Double overhooks, and here goes those headbutts. You've been there before too, right? Yes, sir. Oh, what, what's a, this, a little chest hair claw? Oh, the guy's got an afro on his chest. <laughs> this is from the 70s or something. It's part of the sleaze factor, isn't it? Yeah, he's all about sleaze. Oh, oh God! <laughs> High into the air and then Whoa. straight down, head first. Al covers, Al gets two. Whoa. Oh, wow, Joey wow. kicking out Joey Ryan. You can hey, see I'm that one coming. Hey, I'm impressed with that. That showed a lot of a toughness, a lot of heart there to kick out. Of Al driving Joey Ryan on top of his head. What do you think of the chant? Seems like everybody here in Phoenix wants head. Yeah, well, it's a horny crowd. Al Snow feeding off of a live capacity crowd. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess Al found head under the tail of the ring. <laughs> Boy, if I'd have known it was that easy. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> Joey's in trouble. Joey's in trouble. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Stifler. Oh, man. Joey Ryan from wow. behind shoves. Stifler grabbing right the head. The referee. I think Snow, Snow and Stifler smashed heads. Joey Ryan just dropped kicking out right out of the ring and now referee's down and Joey he's grabbing the uh, mm -hmm. Oh, that's sleazy. Yeah. That's what he's about. He's bringing sleazy back. I get it. Oh man, sliding through. Oh. It's on the back. And a defenseless Joey Ryan. A veteran right there. Again, a step ahead. 
of Joey Ryan. Did you say a step ahead? I did, yeah. Pardon the pun. Can't, you just can't help yourself. All right, Kent. Go back, to the well said, one, go back to the well one more time I with it. Snow stiff ahead. I was thinking about cracked heads. Head and now Al Snow, he's in the cap. What the hell? Oh, oh, what's the, the carbon footprint? The blueprint. The blueprint. The blueprint. Matt Morgan. He just he, he came right over here out of the corner. Right over the guardrail. Matt Morgan. Wait a minute. But remember what we saw in Impact Wrestling a couple of weeks ago. We know that Matt Morgan has been showing up at live arena events. And Matt Morgan came over the guardrail and oh, hit the foot. The, Al, the Snow's, out Al Snow's knocked out. Wait a minute, Joey Ryan. Still, ref never saw it. Joey Ryan, Joey Ryan's got a contract. Your winner, Joey Ryan. Oh my God, what a crazy turn of events. Matt Morgan, I guess, I guess inadvertently, he just assisted Joey Ryan in getting a contract here in TNA. Matt Morgan hey, came out of nowhere here. Joey Ryan, he wasn't afraid to take advantage of what the blueprint did. Can't blame him. Well, he's looking at that Matt Morgan for some reason. Lit up. Wait a minute. What the hell? Yeah, that's a little long. Maybe? Maybe it wasn't in the first. Post-match handshake between the blueprint Matt Morgan and Joey Ryan. But yeah, Morgan. Morgan over the guardrail. Joey Ryan's got a contract. He is. Believe Joy this. Wow. What, a one-night deal? Now, now turns into full time? Wow. I guess the match is in order. What? Coming up next here at Bound for Glory, it's our third championship match of the night. My guest at this time set to defend the World Tag Team Championship against AJ Styles, Kurt Angle, and the team of Chavo Guerrero Jr. and Hernandez. Gentlemen, I have a question off of Twitter. Whoa, 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 We've got whoa, whoa, whoa. A Twitter? Look, we're not concerned with all those troglodytes on Twitter. All they want is, can I get a follow? Can I get a retweet? No, 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 no. You see, unlike Kurt and AJ, unlike the team of Nacho Libre, we're not influenced by Twitter. Jeremiah, we're not influenced by the fans. In fact, a lot of people around here, well, they consider us a bad influence. And you know what? We're good with that. A bad influence? Well, not bad meaning bad, but bad meaning good. An influence, as in we are the straws that stir the drink. We're in the position where the ladies want to see us and the fellas want to be us. They want what we have. They want to be where we are. And they're green with envy, just like my drink of choice. Kurt and AJ, Chavo Guerrero the third, Sean Hernandez Jr., we've already beaten both of you guys one at a time. Well, now they've tried to stack the deck against us. They put you both in the ring with us at the same time. Three days ago, Hulk Hogan puts us in a match with Sting and Bully Ray, where they commit physical, physical crimes against us. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care. Because now, on the biggest stage of Impact Wrestling's history, your world tag team champions of the world, the best tag team in the business. We're gonna eat you alive and wash you down with a delicious, delicious beverage. <laughs> Adios, amigos. When these warriors step in between the ropes, this ring becomes a battlefield. Men become gladiators, and the winner of this fight will be determined by the team that can overcome adversity, hardship, and suffering. The 1996 Olympic gold medalist, the first ever Grand Slam champion in TNA wrestling, Kurt Angle, the phenomenal AJ Styles, are they destined to become the greatest tag team ever assembled? I mean, you, there's no two guys that can get in the ring with us and stop us. For some reason, when we bring it together, it just, 
it's it's like magic, you know, it's a blessing. So I think that uh, we could be one of the greatest tag teams of all time. The Human Wrecking Machine, a combination of bullish strength and agility, the passion of the legendary Guerrero wrestling family, Hernandez, Chavo Guerrero. Can the tradition and heritage of this team carry on the Guerrero legacy's quest towards another championship? There's gonna be plenty of Latinos there in Phoenix, Arizona. Put the boots on and lace them up tight, boys, because we're bringing it. The man who will stop at nothing to prove that he belongs amongst wrestling's elite. The technician, the innovator, the man willing to risk everything so he can attain greatness. Christopher Daniels, Kazarian. Can anyone derail the TNA World Tag Team Champions train of success? You can send AJ and Kurt. You can send Stravo and Sean. You can send the damn militia. And at the end of the day, the two men holding these belts are going to be the same two men holding the belts right now. And let's be honest. This is not a triple threat match, a double Dutch match, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> this is those two teams against us. Because I guarantee you, they're going to form an alliance and they're going to team up and try to beat us. But you know what? It's not going to happen because we're good. We're and not we, just good. We're great. We are great. We say we're great. We go out there and we prove it and it pisses people off. God, it really makes me sad. To become a champion on this stage, what are these six men willing to risk tonight? Daniels and Kazarian defend the World Tag Team Championship against Styles and Angle and Chavo Guerrero Jr. and Hernandez. And here we go. It is title match number three of the night at Bound for Glory. Tag Team Championship at stake, and we are going to preview this match with the taglines. We're going to break it down in advance. It was recently on Impact Wrestling when the teams of AJ Styles and Kurt Angle, as well as Hernandez and Chavo Guerrero, both earned opportunities to challenge the World Tag Team Champions of the World. When faced with the problem of how to satisfy the worthy teams, Hulk Hogan solved things, ruling that the champs had to defend in a three-way. Christopher Daniels and Kazarian, they have relied on mind games to even things up. Lies and exaggerations cause issues between the two teams, and it even divided AJ and Kurt this past Thursday. Time to find out if the champs can overcome the numbers disadvantage. Well done, my friend. Woo. The following contest scheduled for one fall is for the World Tag Team Championship. Introducing first the team of Hernandez and Chavo Guerrero. Well, there's definitely that swagger that both these men have here. Now, Vico Guerrero and Hernandez. Tell you what, they might have that home field advantage right here in Phoenix. Yeah, the Desert Southwest, I like it. This uh -huh. Tex-Mex tag team representing El Paso in Houston. Chavo from El Paso, big super Mex from Houston. And yeah, they get a nice welcome as they come out here in Phoenix. One of the two challenging teams in this triple threat match. <laughs> well, that's what remains of the broadcast table for our Spanish broadcast team after that score <laughs> rude match. It's Willie Urbina. Yeah, it's, it's Chavo's uncle, oh. Hector. What's going on, boys? <laughs> yeah, you guys look good with the monitors in your laps. Oh, those guys hate you. especially after what we saw on Thursday night. Can I read anything into Kurt Angle coming out by himself? We see that Chavo and Hernandez came out together, unified as a team. You recall Thursday night when AJ competed, told, told Kurt, don't even come yeah. out now, now separate entrances. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, oh, look, 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 who's the ringside? Yeah. West Briscoe. Oh, West Briscoe, he was off. I thought he was in the X, uh, Kurt, I want to come out down right. for He's so excited. He's here. Georgia, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Oh, man, 
That's a massive ovation here for AJ. It is P1. It is the phenomenal one. AJ Styles, tag team partner of the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. I love, I love the way that Hulk Hogan solved the issue of the two worthy teams by making this a triple threat match. Totally agree with that. purposely did that. I mean, it's, it's not like you've ever made it known. It's not like you've ever been vocal about somebody wearing the orange and black. Uh, uh, it's pro tiger. Probably, probably just a coincidence, you know? It's all about the tag team titles, my friend. It's not about me. <laughs> Whoa, there's a first. Somebody, somebody marked the tape. <laughs> and don't call me a mark. But anyway, we got three teams here. If you're the champions, definitely the short, the short straw. But you know, you heard, you heard Kazarian, you heard Daniels. They're saying, hey, look, they kind of, paraphrasing here, but they kind of said, these two teams of AJ and Kurt, and Hernandez and Chavo, they might try to unite to take us out. They kind of feel like they're up against the wall, me and the champions. Did you not pay attention? You heard it, right, Mike? I'm hearing like everything. When, you know what? I'll talk once you stop. I'm done. I just talked about it. They look yeah, great so on you. I, I, I thought so. <laughs> I thought that was to get under your skin. It worked, guys. <laughs> yeah, the lies and the exaggerations of the champs, Daniels and Kazarian, it, it split. You see, look. Yeah, now, now it's official. Uh, oh, Daniels is over here bragging about the tights. They better worry about their championships, not the orange and black tights. Yeah, especially when you see that we have representatives from the two challenging teams because this is first pin or submission. Absolutely, uh, sudden death, right? Sudden victory, sudden death, any way you want to call it. If you're uh, pessimistic or not, I don't know. Half glass full, empty, full. <laughs> well, you, you've always been optimistic. It's... Yeah. Cart's going off the, off the rails here, my friend. Let's keep the car back on the rails. I got the wheel, shot off into the rope. Chavo Ch nice gets trip. taken down with the trip and the quick flip. How about that float over by AJ? It's so effortless. Yeah, he's smooth, right? I mean, AJ's just so smooth in all of his offense. Which, you know, and listen, I've said it before, when you have that moniker of the phenomenal one, I mean, it better be good, you know what I mean? But he lives up to it. Quick shoulder block by AJ and... Uh -oh. Smart strategy to take Chavo to the corner and to turn things over to Styles' tag team partner, Kurt Angle in against Chavo. Ooh. Kurt Angle, very well documented, Olympic gold medalist, one and only in the world of pro wrestling, 13-time world heavyweight champion is Kurt Angle. Wrestling machine is Kurt Angle. Damn right. Training machine. None better, none better. In my opinion, and you see now Kurt not letting Chavo get any kind of lead here. Chavo's got that, that shoulder really taped up a lot. Eh? Ooh, and no surprise, I guess, that Angle whoa, 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 whoa. Look at off the, the slam. He, he put Chavo straight down at his shoulder. Blind tag from outside. Kurt never saw it, but like referee Brian Hebner is explaining to Angle, it's legal. So it's a blind tag because no one saw it? Because Kurt didn't see it. But Kurt didn't see it. Oh, got it, okay. Look at AJ, goes back to that headlock. Uh-oh, oh, oh nice my. suplex right there. 
Salvo Guerrero, that was a beautiful throw. Oh, just driving AJ. Oh, here comes the big man now. Super Max in the house. Quick double team upcoming here. Uh oh. This is the power game. This is what you can expect from Super Max. Hernandez with the bear hug. Well, fundamental. Oh my God. Beautiful release. Wow. Over the head, belly to belly, suplex. Effortless. Man, it's just a powerhouse. This guy's a truck. Straight down with the slam and then slingshot in for partner Chavo Guerrero. I'll tell you, hey, listen, if I'm Kazarian and Daniels, I'm gonna be a little panicking right now. I'm not getting an opportunity to get in this match. As my team, I mean, as we said, they don't have to be involved with the pin or submission. Ooh, diving splash, pin, two. Have to appreciate. Well, look again, now Kazarian tags himself in, but neither of these teams are gonna tag these two guys in. Hence to the point True. that we said no one likes them. Kazarian now legal with AJ, first pin, first submission, will determine who becomes World Tag Team Champions. Off the drop down, Kazarian over and gets ah. nailed with the drop kick. Anybody do that better than Styles? No, sir. AJ, 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 AJ. Ring positioning, so important. Over to the far side to enable Kurt Angle to be legal and come in against Kazarian and a backdrop suplex results in the well, back of Kazarian's head bouncing off the I canvas. Think that might have been a message from Angle to Chavo Guerrero. That's the same throw that Chavo did to AJ. That back suplex, and now Chavo is tagged in here. Tagged himself in, I should say. I stand corrected. Yeah, these are the uppercuts that Chavo tried to use earlier. Now effective against the beaten down Kazarian. Smart Chavo trying to keep Kazarian in his corner. Toss Hernandez. Look at that power. Wow. But oh we've seen this, this strategy works to perfection. A little wear down by Chavo and then Just immediately turn it over to the power man. See the way he picked oh. up Kazarian off the, from the vertical base. That's a human being the way he just grabbed Kazarian. Like, get up here. He was a bag of something, rocks, whatever they bag. Chavo now legal. Leg drop leads to a pin, and Kazarian not only avoids the three count, rakes the eyes, turns it over to Daniels, oh. and the second that Daniels comes in, he's met by the Chavo drop kick. Look at Daniels, I, I tell you what, like Chris Daniels or not, that was smart. He drove Chavo to angle in uh, AJ's corner. That was painful. Well, I was going to say, was it, was it really smart? because you open yourself up for Styles or Angle to make the tag. Like I was saying, it was a dumb move by Daniels to do what he did. That's exactly what you said. That's exactly it. Hmm. And now, back over the head says, wow. look at that. Oh, oh, man. Quickly snapped off by Styles. Daniels flies over and, oh, AJ flies, but... Oh, oh wow. boy, Kazarian with the wind-up and the ooh. deadly clothesline from outside. Referee never saw referee Brian Hebner. There's a lot of bodies out there, so he did not see that clothesline by Kazarian. I mean, that was a nothing but impact there. Champs, well-oiled machine, elbow followed by the leg. The drops from outside, enables Kazarian to get two on Styles. Doing the whole hip thing. Guys are obsessed with their own crotches and hips. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of awkward. If, it was, if it was only the hips, it'd probably be better. Oh, a little awkward. Got to say, a little awkward. Beat down on AJ in the corner. Kazarian now legal. And you know they're going to exploit the five count here. Oh, my. Leap frog, clothesline wow, combo, high hip toss, oh, using his own partner as a weapon. Kazarian pin and These wisely just, Chavo in for the save. You could see just by those series of moves by the tag team champions why they're the champions. That was just well done by Daniels and Kazarian. Excellence. And now just a full Nelson right here keeping AJ at bay. AJ trying to get out of this. Got to either try to sit out or get some wrist control, which is tough to do. Kazarian a very, very strong man and strong, strong arms and hands. So I don't know if he has a grip though. 
tougher to escape from the full Nelson on the map than if you're up to your feet, correct? Yeah, it definitely is. If you're going to do this, that's a nice way to get out of it. you got to sit out if you're on your butt doing it, uh, getting put in the hole that you're saying. Styles has just not been able to get untracked for the past few minutes. Is that, oh, oh, that. oh God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> not a friendly corner. Not wrong. a friendly corner. Oh, Pele. And not a friendly Pele either. AJ sensed he was on the wrong oh, side of town. Kick ball, get checked. <laughs> soccer joke. <laughs> Kurt Angle sitting on ready. Asking for the tag, hand extended in. AJ slides down the ropes and tags in. And Kurt, the explosive back-to-back close. Oh, 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 shots for Hernandez and Chavo as well. Taking everybody out. Angle, to, angle. oh man. Watch, Watch this. out. Watch this. Oh, that time it was released. There's and another this one. Time, no, not released. Love it, love it. Nothing like a, like a bunch of suplexes to get the people going nuts. Hell, a bunch. That would be number two for Kazarian. I love it. Great throws. Great technique in these German suplexes by Angle. Three Ang overall. Angle's not done. Oh, he's hanging on. Look at this. Hanging on to Daniels. Chips. Daniels. Daniels might go for a run. Oh, sunset flip. Flies over the top. Uh oh. Oh, boy. Ankle lock. Kurt's got it. Now he's got to deal with Kazarian, and that, that was the third one. He took care of Kazarian. Kurt Angle, no problem with the intensity. He's got that eye covered. Oh, my. Into the corner goes Kurt. Kurt's in trouble here. Daniels has oh, he in trouble. Angle, but look how quickly to the top. Oh, oh he just walked oh, through and suplexed him, cut right into his partner. Pin, cover, oh. and only. Oh, you see that? So Chavo. Chavo, yeah, he's not trying to. Help out the champions. He's trying to prevent oh, Angle and AJ becoming champions. Suplex for Guerrero. The shoulder block by Kazarian and then slingshot into a DDT. Right on that head and neck. Look, oh, oh, get off me, man. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's whew, nothing fancy. Big pounce shoulder block. AJ flies. Flying forearm by Styles. Ooh, Ooh, open wow, hand what a shot. thrust. STO. Beautifully done by Daniels. Excellent stuff right there. Daniels turns his sights to Angle. Running drop kicking. Kurtz out to the floor. Watch Daniels here. Oh. Jogo! Great job by Chris Daniels. Just taking out Kurt Angle. Meanwhile, shoulder block by Hernandez. Puts Daniels out to the broadcast table. Oh my God, here he comes. Oh, you're not kidding, watch clear out, out, clear out, clear watch out. out. Watch out, Superman flies. Oh my God. Did you see that? How could you miss it? Damn, it's like a war zone out here tonight. Whoa, 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 keep your eyes on Kazarian, Kazarian for... He's all over the floor Man, I'll out tell you here. what, Kazarian really landed hard on his shoulder bad. I mean, he ran I, right out here in front of me, about five feet from me. He might have broke the shoulder or something. That was nasty. Damn. Yo, that was heavy and that was, that was a nasty landing right there. AJ just caught Chavo with a shoulder block from the apron. Look at AJ. Siles, he's got his... Whoa, 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 Watch whoa. out! Oh, God! How did he, how did he change his course in mid-move? I thought he was going to spring and hit Guerrero. Instead, he came at an angle. And AJ flies. Looks like a car wreck out here. It's like this, it's like this guy's fell out of the sky. Let's get look. Come on, guys. Let's show us this. Look at AJ. Look at it. It's amazing athleticism. Wow. Sacrificing his own body. Chavo Guerrero dodged a big bullet. He's the only guy left alive out of this. Now Chavo, he's got angle. Look at that nice suplex by Chavo. That's one. Go for a three amigo. Oh, That's two. One. one away from the three amigos. Oh, Kurt, nice get count. Three on Kurt's Kurt. got him. Slam! Kurt hits 
Hits the angle slam. Kurt Angle's locked and loaded, baby. Chavo's in trouble. Chavo's in big trouble. Hernandez has recovered, and as Kurt goes to the top, Hernandez slides in from behind. Oh, look at this, look at this. Kurt's in a bad position up there. Oh, you want power? You want pure raw strength? Tacked in. AJ's yeah, AJ legal. Did. AJ's legal, Referee man. spotted it. Angle able to drop down. And now, Angle and Styles with the double team that wow, Hernandez that. just busts right through. Denied. Missed the clothesline. Double team suplex. Well, you gotta team up when you're dealing with somebody like Supermax. What a match, man. Jesus. Kurt charges it. Chavo, who sidestepped it. Ooh. Chavo turns around and, and gets dropped by the Styles clothesline. What a night. AJ Not doesn't just this see match. Kazarian. He doesn't see him at all. Kazarian slides in from behind. Win it! Win it! Win it! He's telling him win it. Kazarian's telling Daniels, man, what? He's saying win it. BME! Best moonsault ever. Here it is. One, two. Oh! Oh! What? Oh, uh, Daniels is blowing a cork. Hit the best moonsault ever. Not able to put Styles away. Yeah, I don't. I don't Daniels did not expect that. Definitely frustration. Frustration set in. And now watch Chavo. Chavo up on top in the corner, and Kazarian well, momentarily stopped Chavo's. This Chavo got mine here. Dan Chavo looking out to the floor. Oh, Chavo flies all the way out to the floor, right on top of Kazarian. Meanwhile, Daniels and AJ dead center in the middle. Oh, he's got AJ. He's got angels AJ. Angels wings, angels wings, but it's stopped, blocked, and a back body drop by Styles. I just rhymed. Good job, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> AJ the elbow. Quickly up. Oh! Inverted DDT. Right on that beanie bald head of Daniels. He got dropped. AJ dares Daniels to get to his feet. Could have new. Oh, thought he was going to go for the Styles Clash. And well, Ch uh, Hernandez is tagged. Did he tag the back? He's legal, buddy. He tagged the back of. Uh, of AJ. Slingshot shoulder block. Outside in by Supermax. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. A little border toss action. Way across. Border toss it is. A Chavo. Chavo to the top. Chavo. Oh. The first box off the top. Hernandez covers one. one. Here's two. two. Let new chip. Oh. Oh. Man, great stuff. Great job by all three teams. Wow, back to the martini drawing board for Daniels and Kazarian, I'll tell you that. Yep, no longer World Tag Team Champions of the World. Instead, Supermax Hernandez, Chavo Guerrero Jr. Tonight in Bound for Glory, they capture the gold. Congratulations to the new World Tag Team Champions, Hernandez and Chavo Guerrero, man. Wow. Post-match celebration for the new champs. And now it's time for our direct impact of the night. Brought to you by Direct Auto Insurance. Take it, Taz. Yeah, well, just an amazing match. Ball across right there. And here comes the frog splash by Chavo Guerrero. Excellent teamwork, picking up the scraps. This Supermax, new tag team champs, Hernandez and Supermax. And yes, that is tonight's Direct Impact of the Night, brought to you by Direct Auto Insurance. Free quote, 877-GO-DIRECT, or visit directgeneral.com. Is Christy there? Christy Hemi, take it. Congratulations, Chavo Hernandez, you are the new World Tag Team Champion! Let's hear it, people! Viva la raza! We told you, we told you that we were to come and beat the, the team of AJ Styles, Kurt Angle, Kaz and Daniels, and what, what we say, we deliver, baby. That's right! One for everybody here at Phoenix! That's for Eddie! I love you, baby! This is for all of you!
¡Viva la raza! ¡Viva Guerrero! ¡Órale, baby! ¡Come on! Celebration in Phoenix for the new champs. Up next, here at Bound for Glory, we're going to see the knockouts fight for the title. with open fight night. Thank you. Girl, you kicked butt and you took names. Thank you. Thank you. I need to see it again. Okay. Because I need to make sure the teacher deserves the diploma. I needed this match to prove that I am the best, that I can beat Tara, that the student can beat the teacher. Well, look at Tara. She's like, why can't I pin this girl? Tessmacher, just stay down. Oh, look, she went for the Widow's Peak, her finisher. Instead, the roll through by Tessmacher. Shoulders of Tara. Down for three. Tessmacher keeps the title and gets the win over her teacher. I'd like to take this moment to congratulate my best friend and the Knockouts champion, Miss Tessmacher. You beat the teacher. That meant I did my job and I taught you well. You proved to everyone out there that you are the best, Brooke, and I love you. Tessmacher did it. Erase those lingering doubts that she had about the ability to defeat the teacher. Oh! She's gonna take her up for the, for the widow's pain. The thing with Tara is she can be unpredictable. She'll be your best friend one second, next second, one to your head off. I'm not here to be best friends. I'm here to be the champ. Okay. I don't need her. I taught her a lesson. Okay. Lesson is you keep your enemies closest to you. My new boyfriend, who lives in Hollywood, California, who happens to be a huge star, opened my eyes to remind me that I am the best female wrestler there is. Tara challenges Miss Tessmacher for the TNA Knockout Championship. And we are ready for yet another title match. At Bound for Glory tonight, I Knockouts Championship is at stake. The bowling contest scheduled for one fall is for the Knockouts Championship. Introducing first from San Bernardino, California, Tara! As you might recall, recently on Impact Wrestling, Tara proved herself to the executive in charge of the knockouts, Brooke Hogan. She defeated ODB. She earned her position as the top challenger, the number one contender to the champion, Miss Tessmacher. Yes, nobody could take that. Nobody could take that away from Tara. Very, very dangerous lady. Hey, there's a British boot camp folks right there. My name is... <laughs> yes, they are seated at ringside, truly an international one, event. We're welcoming the cast of the first ever reality series coming soon to Challenge TV in the UK. It's Marty, it's the Blossom Twins, it's Rockstar Spud. Welcome to BFG. Yeah, the one guy who offered me a spot of tea. Did you take it? No, I told him to get out of my locker room. Probably and had to give it. From Houston, Texas, your knockout champion, Miss Tessmacher. Look at that face of Tara looking at our knockouts champ. That's Marta, man. She's just what a look she gave him. Well, these two work together as a team. The advice that was offered by Tara as a mentor, but then Tara's stunning Tess Walker turning on her best friend. And I, I've been thinking about this ever since Tara keeps talking about that Hollywood boyfriend, and I wonder if he happened to play a role in those surprising actions. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Darren Terrell is our referee, referee of our knockouts. A lot of tease in this match. A lot of tease. Oh, you had 
all kinds of people around ringside that were IDing that. You know who this is? Who's that? It's Jennifer Larson. That's her? Yeah, guest bell ringer from KSLX 100.7 Classic Rock. Awesome, ring it! Ring it! Hit it! There you go. Sorry, I get a little excited when people have to ring bells. Taz, you got anybody else you want to introduce around ringside here? <laughs> I have no comment with us. Got a couple of comps over there. Maybe I'll. Again, this thing is just boiled up, huh? Two former BFFs. Not anymore. Referee Taryn Terrell went to go for the goal. Start counting. Look at that jackknife cover right there. Jack, jackknife, which maybe a Jacqueline, a girl thing. Look at that bridge. Oh! Hello. Uh, somehow it's better with uh, Tessmacher doing that than uh, Daniels and Kazar, you know? Who? Huh? Former World Tag Team Champions of the World. And look at this. Look at the spinning. Got to watch out here. Look at that head scissor by the knockout champ. Barry's got to be real dizzy right about now. I'll tell you what, if these girls are diving out here, I'm not moving for this one. <laughs> I'll catch them. Well, here you go. Might have a chance sliding through his test marker. Oh, Champ in pursuit of the challenger. I don't miss. I'm good. Oh, look at this referee now being used uh, in between. Ooh, just a little diversion. Well, that's what they call it, huh? Mm -hmm. Ooh, and the sliding kick by Tara takes test marker out to the arena floor. I think Tara looks at this match as an opportunity simply to regain that knockouts championship. She wants the spotlight well, that goes with the title, but at the same time, I think the test mocker is looking to make a statement to prove her superiority over her former best friend. I think she's more interested in making sure the proper green room is set for her you know, boyfriend from Hollywood that, yeah, that's you, supposedly going to be here. That's what I just said. It's the title and the spotlight. I, I it's all part of the package. Just reiterating what you said. Bring it forward. Well, Miss Tessmacher I mean, just landed hard right on her face and her jaw. You don't want someone like Tara. She, she will just stay all over you. She is a vicious competitor. Field goal, she said. Look at that. Big football fan is Tara. Big football fan. Tessmacher tries to fight back from the canvas, but immediately gets dropped. Challenger Tara. Taking test. Oh! Up into the air. Back first, head first into the corner. Now just well placed right there, driving her shoulder right to the midsection of the knockouts champ. Miss Tessmacher. And again, the bigger, the stronger competitor in this match is Tara. Uh-oh, we really got rolled up here. Bigger and stronger taken over by Tessmacher, but not able to get the pin. And then as soon as Tara's back up to her feet, she goes right back to the offense. And now, in the mount position. Yeah, well, Tara just Ooh. in complete control of Miss Tessmacher, disrespecting her, rubbing her face in the mat. What a great job. I mean, as far as trying to gain the knockouts championship. Gonna roll Tessmacher over and right into a pin. Taryn Terrell counts two. A little out of position was Taryn Terrell. At least she's hot. Extra impact behind the shot into the corner. Oh. Oh. Tessmacher the boot up. Go for that wow. again. Ooh, How about the that? DDT. Wow. Head sit started with the head scissors. Quickly turned into the DDT. It was almost Ooh. like that last ditch yeah. desperation move by Tessmacher that paid off. Keeping the pressure on is Tara. Oh! Look at this now. She's driving the face of Tara and Miss Tessmacher doing everything she can to hang on to that knockouts title. Oh. Look at this, man. Heavy duty arsenal of offense by our knockout champ. She's cooking on all cylinders. A little lady from Texas. 
Test Marker after taking Tara down. Quickly with the kick, the nip up back to her feet. She's going all the way to the tippy top here. Test Marker's up high. Oh, wow. Hey, that, that's a great, great job. Move. Yeah, it's tough to do that. Excellent work right there by Miss Tessmacher. The Tower of Veteran wow. hanging on to that rope. Experience edge comes into play. Yep. Able to hook the rope, stop the offensive move of Tessmacher. Again, just out muscling. Miss Tessmacher is Tara. Tessmacher able to overpower Tara. Yeah, but Tessmacher taking some time here. Whatever she's got in mind. Oh took my way God. too much time. Oh, that's a big miss right there. Overshot Tara and landed elbow first. Yeah, that's a big miss. And Tara gonna try to capitalize on that. Could be Widow's peak time right uh -oh, here. Uh oh, oh boy. Tessmacher oh in trouble. Tara hits the Widow's peak. Rolls over the champ and covers and pins and wins the title. Your winner and new knockout champion, Tara! What a night, man! Titles get another moved new around. Champion. Another new champ! Tara, the new knockout champion! It's the oh teacher! My God. The teacher who proves her superiority! Teacher beats! The student and quickly Tara asked for the mic. Oh my God. I have been so inspired lately. I bet you people think I did it for you. Well, I didn't. I did it for my sweet, sexy, handsome and perfect Hollywood boyfriend. You guys might have seen him on TMZ. He's kind of a big deal. <laughs> but i like to thank him for inspiring me. I love you, boo. I really do. I want to take this moment to introduce Hollywood's biggest star. No, bigger than Brad, bigger than George. Definitely bigger than Leonardo DiCaprio, whatever his name is. Yeah, I don't know his name either. Introducing <laughs> my boo from Big Brother, Jesse! Jesse? No, the Jesse? She's joking, right? Oh, Contain yourself, Taz. It's her boo. Oh, come to mama, baby. Oh. I did this for you. You know what Mama likes. <laughs> Take that off, baby. This guy's a huge star, bro. Take that off. Well, maybe we can get you an autograph or a photo op oh, with him, baby. Cass. Oh, that's all right. But look what we got. Huge we star, got... did you say? Big Brother 10, bro. He was on Big Brother 10, a bunch of other Big Brothers. This guy was a massive star. Huge Big Brother fan. Oh, look at this. They're getting down. Look at Mr. Spectacular. That's his nickname, by the way. Oh, you know way too much about this guy. Who's fan of Big Brother? Look at this. Wow. Look at it. Jeez. How can you avoid it? I don't think Leonardo DiCaprio can pull that off. I don't think that's pronounced quite right. Look how excited. I know she's more excited to see her boo or that she has the new knockouts title. Wow, it looks like the same belt that Jesse's got on, the white one. They got like matching belts, but a little smaller. Wow, let's go, let's go, let's go to let's go to something important. Let's go to last <laughs> night here in Phoenix. Hall of Fame. Oh, Boo is right. Hi, Boo. We are here on a momentous evening, a historic evening. At one point in my career, I had a near fatal motorcycle wreck. The first person I saw in the emergency room was Sting. And in moments like that, I can't describe what a, what a friend he is. I get emotional thinking about it.
this is 10 years TNA has been on the map. One of the reasons that this company is still here is because of Sting. But I want to let everybody in here know how great this man is. And from the bottom of my heart, I love you for who you are because you're a man's man, you're an honest person, you're loyal, and everybody in here can trust you and depend on you. And that's what I love about you. Thank you for everything. We'd really decided, I think, to have moved on from wrestling at this point. So just, you came in there out of the goodness of your heart. So every year I would put my best sales pitch to him and he would agree to another year. But finally, after a few years, he said to me, I'll agree to this year if it's my last and you quit trying to make me stay. Fast forward several years and you have made such an incredible impact on our company. I don't know if we'd be here today without you. I don't know what I would have done without you. So sometimes it's good to be the boss and tonight's one of those nights because I get the honor and the privilege to bring up a man who I think the absolute world of. Ladies and gentlemen, Sting. When I was a kid, I pictured myself in front of tens of thousands of people doing something, but I had no idea what it was. I find myself years later, co-owned a Gold's Gym in Southern California, and this big, blonde dude would come in and he'd work out and he'd have the gym freaking out over him. Do you know who that is? And I'd say, I have no idea who that is. That's Hulk Hogan. All of a sudden I find myself in the biggest match of my entire career against Hulk Hogan. And I, I once again, I gotta say how proud I am to be able to, you know, have said that I, I worked with Hulk Hogan and I think it's only fair that I acknowledge the great Ric Flair. March of 2001 was an interesting month also. Kind of disappeared from wrestling and I thank God for second chances because one day Jerry Jarrett, Jeff Jarrett asked me if I'd come and do an event. Enter Dixie Carter. No, I mean, she, when she wants something, she gets it. She just makes it happen. I love you, Dixie, and I thank you so much for sticking by me. I thank you for second chances. I love all of you. I really do. I'm honored. I am so honored to be the very first inductee. God bless each and every one of you. Thanks for having me all these years. Who's ready for a few more years? Wow, what a memorable, what a historic night it was last evening here in Phoenix. And well, that, that, listen, Taz, Mike, I gotta say, it was an honor yeah. to be a part of that. Absolutely, I know, it was, it was a great night for sure. And it was an awesome moment and Sting well deserved. But speaking of Sting, that was fun last night. Tonight, different story, gotta compete. Got to compete, tagging up with Bully Ray against Aces and Nates. As we found out, no disqualification, man. That's big. What's it going to be? Full access for Aces and Nates or gone for good? We the find high out. stakes tag team match, it's next tonight here at Bound for Glory. Hulk Hogan, hey, this is for you. We're not cowards. Aces and Nates, they've struck once more. I got your back, Jack. I'll be there with you. We will be there in full force. There's a hostage crisis gripping the impact zone. You want to play hardball? Well, I'm the right guy to play with, brother. Hulk Hogan must meet the demands of aces and eights or risk losing one of his own. Did you have some problem with aces and eights? Yeah, they're all over the place. I got your back. Aces and eights. Game on. Yeah. Game on. See that? I got that from the Hulk. I get Joseph Park and you get me in your clubhouse. That's the deal. Is the Hulkster walking into a trap? When you come to our house, it's clubhouse rules. You said that Joseph Park is just doing his job. Well, you're right about that, Mr. Hogan. But his job is bringing them very close to Aces and Eights business. Hulk, this whole thing with Aces and Eights, it started with me. This is the stinger saying, I'm going with you because I got your back, Jack. Oh, God. Oh, isn't really important right now. Where's Parks? We'll get to that too. So I have a little proposition for you, Hulkster. I got a proposition. Watch your tires and let's fight this thing out right now. Do 
we like you guys. We want to be able to come and go as we please. We want to be able to get in the impact zone and share with the good times. Because we, we do. We, we've learned to like you. So you're bound for glory, Hulkster. I want you to pick two of your toughest guys. Two guys that are part of your brotherhood. To step into the ring with two guys from our brotherhood. Because I don't think you really know what brotherhood is all about. You pick two, I pick two, we meet at Bob for Glory, we win, we get full access. You win, we go away. We're coming with our best! Everything we work for disappears if they win. You see, we are all ready to die for the Brotherhood. Get Anderson some help! Yes, ace, ace is an eight strike again. Of all people, you pick Anderson over me? If you're gonna go to war, Sting, you go to war with the warrior. Let him know that I'm the guy that's gonna fight by your side. I know you don't love me, you might even hate me, but you gotta respect me. Shake my hand, I'm your guy, Hulk. This is what we got, this is a bullet. and eights battle the icon Sting and Bully Ray. The icon sting. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. And his tag team partner, Bully Ray. <laughs> That's cool, With man. The matching face paint. That's like an old school sting paint job there. I like that. Brothers in paint. And you see uh, Stinger, he's rocking the uh, Bully Ray t shirt. That's pretty That's cool. That's unity. No doubt, no doubt. I don't think there's any question that the choice of Bully Ray as the tag team partner for Sting was controversial. <laughs> but if, well, you, if you're going to fight fire with fire against Aces and Eights, who better to have? Bully Ray is your tag team partner. Look at Bully Ray. That looks like a Gene Simmons with water retention. Don't get me wrong, he looks good. <laughs> you know I love him. You know he's gonna be hot when he hears that bat. I don't care. He's <laughs> in the best shape of his career. I know, the I water know. retention. I don't know where he's going kind of off busted chop. That is fun. He knows up to you. They might not know. I might have to explain myself to him. <laughs> and eights in Impact Wrestling is about to be determined right here and right now. Where are all these guys? What oh. well, they got off? Yeah, yeah, Joseph Park, who they've held hostage for weeks. We saw earlier tonight right. the countdown to Bound for Glory show live on Spike TV. When aces and eights arrived here at the building in Phoenix, they had the hostage Joseph Park with them. Man, he looks bad. Drunk, he's been... I think these are just... These are bad people. These Ace of Spades cats, man, they're just bad people. They're just like, slam up against them. Well, they've, they've, been, they've been punishing the guy. They've been punishing him for weeks. Cuff him. Cuff him to the guardrail. Is he like uh, collateral? I mean, you know, it's like, oh, oh man. God. Just nailed him. We got oh, one, watch out. General Man 
manager Hulk Hogan said, we're going to turn these four guys loose. Importance of this match. We want a winner determined. It's no disqualification. Watch out, watch out. Oh, God. Oh, God. The impact the right there. the guardrail. Jump, jump. Oh, watch out, watch out here. Oh, Spanish broadcast oh. table taking even more damage, courtesy of staying and aces and eights. They brought their two big physical guns to do battle. Yeah, I just felt something right when, it, you know what, Bully Ray offered up his services, the team of Bully Ray and Sting, first time ever. I just thought it was, there was uh, just something there between these two guys teaming up. Right now, Bully having a hard time though with that member of Aces and Eights. Steel steps come into play on the far side. As Sting, God, oh, damn, did you hear the impact? Right in of front of us. Sting's head as it bounced the off the broadcast that, Mike, table. See the, the size glass. of this aces and eights, dude? That's what I said. They, I said they brought their two big guns to do war. Yeah, but when he got up close, he got bigger as he got closer. Bully doing pretty well on the far side. Sting trying to fight back. Ow. Sorry. Watch out, here we go! Bully, oh. Flying elbow shot. Piece of the Spanish broadcast table. Ooh, oh. smashed into pieces. <laughs> Bully Ray let him look at it before he did it. Well, we saw that on Thursday. We sure did. Thursday night, Impact Wrestling. It was Sting who issued the edict and the mandate whoa, 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 with whoa, the whoa, tables. Mike. Oh, God. You see the steel steps just went flying up into the air. Watch the Stinger Splash. Oh, my God. Stinger Splash. But I think Sting, because the other member of Aces and Eights came in for protection, ah. it was Sting who took the brunt of the blow in the steel guardrail. back in the ring with Sting on the receiving end. A more of a beating. Oh man, big right hand jacks the jaw of Sting. Sends him flying and slam. Yeah, let's take there a look, is. Mike. Straight oh, oh, oh. down. We're gonna take a look here, Mike, at Sting going for that Stinger splash and then watch what happens. That was right. The other, the other Aces and Eights members you pointed out, pulling uh, his homeboy out of the way there. Boy, the complexion of this match has turned big time in the favor of Aces and Eights. The short arm clothesline, and boy, Sting is, is quickly and look, avoiding the three look counts. At, oh my God, look at Joseph Hawk. He's just, he's been, uh, Wrapped up for man, how long? For a week with in that week. clubhouse yeah. with weeks. Aces and eights for weeks, I should say. Handcuffed out here. Oh, Lord, what a clothesline that was. Sting down. Hepner counts two and barely the Hall of Famer, the icon, gets the shoulder up. Wow. Wow. Big man right there with a big boot. Vicious. Well, this could be it here. By aces and eights. And if you would have, if you would have got the victory right there, that would have gave access, full access, to Impact Wrestling, to aces and eights. That's the deal. And I know that this has just been driving Hulk Hogan crazy, our general manager. Because Hulk, part of the deal is he's not allowed to compete. Hence, why for those that didn't keep up, Sting had to find someone, and Hulk had to find someone, and Bully stepped up after Aces and Eights took out Anderson. But Hogan, Hogan wants to be out there with Sting right now. General Manager says we're gonna make this no disqualification as Sting is gonna try and go Scorpion. He's gonna take that big step over. Bully cheering him on from the apron. Scorpion is applied oh. and it's 
no DQ. That's right. Good point. Got lost in a moment there. But you are correct. You, you can't beef about something like that. Well, Hulk Hogan put that down in our earlier tonight, saying that it was no disqualification because he wants aces and aces to, oh, oh, my. to suffer. Scorpion death drop. That's a serious stomp. Bully Ray's getting everybody rocked, trying to get our capacity crowd behind the stinger. Oh, they're behind him. They're geared up because of what's on the line, the importance of this match for this organization going forward, and the tag is into the bully. Big man's and he's moving. Unloading. Bully Ray will drop you like it's no tomorrow. We're witnessing it. He's just taking these guys out. We heard Bully Ray say it. These guys cost him an opportunity at the World Heavyweight title. That's why Bully Ray's a hater of Aces and Aces. Straight down with the neck breaker. Bully springs off the middle rope with a shoulder block. Look how fast Bully Ray is, the athleticism of this big man. Doing a great job out here. He told Hogan, I'm your guy, you can count on me. Shot from outside with a knee to the back of the Bully. And it's the aces and eights with the double team. Out of the corner, Bully explodes. Double clothesline. Straight down, big splash. Yeah, Bully with the big boy splash. But the other member of Aces and Eights, the bigger, bigger one, stopped him. Boy, you're right. These are two big, I mean, physical, violent dudes. Sting just got bounced off the steel outside after Bully took the boot in the face. Joseph Park, look, yeah, right. I, just I got to say, he, he, over I, I hate to be rude, but smell, the smell, oh. the stench is disgusting. It's been weeks. I know. Fully able to get the boot up before Aces and Eights can use the, the chair as a weapon. And Bully Ray now. Bully, whoa, 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 who the hell's it? Oh! oh. That's another member. You're right, that's a third member of Aces and Eights who came in with a low blow on Bully Ray. But Hefner's hands are tied. It's no disqualification. Oh, and he just, just spit. spit down here at Joseph Park. Sure as hell did. But Joseph Park, he feels so dis... Oh, oh my God! What the hell? Joseph Park just... He just shot himself! He's busted the handcuffs right off the guardrail in your right. and just goes into a rage and whoops ass. Put out! <laughs> Joseph Parks is just a mess, but he's kicking butt out of here. He's still got that handcuff and he's, he's <laughs> swinging with those rights. This guy's getting hit with the cuffs. That's Joseph Park following him all the way up and staying in the bully. They were distracted by that. They, they turned their attention away. I think, the they were and eights. I think they were concerned with Joseph Park's safety, but That's he was still eight. pretty good. Beating the hell out of that other Aces and Eights guy. Oh, Bully wow. Ray just saving Bully. Sting right there. Uh-oh. Look at this. Saw the eye contact made. Hold on. Bully sends Sting to the top. Sting, she's moving back. Unload. Close right off the top. What's that remind you of? Yeah, you're not kidding. Talk about brothers in paint. Amen. The great road warriors right there, baby. Little blast from the past. Bully used by oh. Stinger splash in the corner. <laughs> Bully set the table. Stinger came and wiped it out. Hold on. You think it's that time again? <laughs> it's like more reversal here. I think Sting just loves saying that. <laughs> I think we all love hearing it. Yeah, Sting. 
with the mandate. Get the table. And Bully's going to oblige. Sure as hell is. Place is going crazy. I don't like Aces and Eights chances. Put them through the table. I Let's think do away with Aces and Eights for good, once and for all, right here and right now. They have full access backstage at Impact. Not looking too good right about now. Oh, sure. wait a minute. Before they could use the table, Steve was pulled. Hooked by the leg and brought out to the floor. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, hold on. No, no. Wait a minute. Who, who the hell is another member now? Another member of Aces and Eights. Whoa! Like did it just took Bully up into the air. Slammed him straight through the table. Hibner counts to it. Oh, wait! Oh, no! Are you kidding me? Oh my God, Mike, you know what this think, means? Think of what we've just... Oh no! Think of what's just happened here. They just gained access to Impact Wrestling. They, they, they... No more... Oh my God, I can't believe this happened. Oh, it... More of the troops, more of the gang from Aces and Eights coming out of the crowd, going over the guardrail. Oh my God, this is... Bad. I can't believe they won this match. I can't believe what they're doing to Sting after they... Oh, that's a pissed off Hogan there. Striding to the ring with purpose. Our general manager, Hulk Hogan. And Hogan laying in those huge right hands as the gang members come. Oh, and take, he's taking them one by one and dropping them. You are not kidding. The holster is pissed off. And I don't blame him. Somehow these freaking guys got access now. And that's the last member. That's the guy with the with that, that killer blow to Bully Ray. Advantage taking a hug as he came through the ropes. Hogan. Oh. Right after right. And the Hogan boot punctuates. Let's hear that, dude. Hogan wasn't permitted to fight in this match because of the deal with Aces and Aids. Match is over, and now Hogan's saying, let's see who this XOP is. Take the mask off. Let's find out. That was, uh, uh, I, I can't, I can't believe that. I can't believe Devon. What the hell would he? I, Hogan, Sting, especially Bully Ray. God, them, 
In, our, our audience here just shocked. I, I, I think we're I, all I shocked. I can't believe it. I'm shocked. I really am. I mean, why would he do it? But I, I have no idea. I, I, I'm looking in the ring at Sting. I'm looking at Hulk, and I'm looking at Bully. Bully just don't. Everyone is in shock. Lay a shocking turn of events here tonight at Bound for Glory. And up next, it is the main event of the evening. The matchup for the World Heavyweight Championship where the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy challenges my guest at this time. Austin Aries set to defend the World Heavyweight Championship in the main event here at Bound for Glory. Yeah, you're right. Would you have a question for me? Or am I supposed to say something? It seems every time I say something, I start saying things I'm not supposed to. You see, Jeff Hardy, you've been working for this for a long time. And you need this victory for your redemption. The problem is you have to go through the greatest man that ever lived. The most dominant professional wrestler in TNA for the last year and a half. And I've done that with skill. I've done it with passion and I've done it with confidence. But tonight, Jeff Hardy, I'm going to do it with anger. And you've never seen an angry Austin Aries. Oh, actually, maybe you have. You saw him on Thursday when I kicked you in the balls and I dropped you on the head. Jeff Hardy, this is not your redemption song. This is simply another chapter in the rise of the greatest man that ever lived. And after Bound for Glory, I will still be the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. All right, it is main event time here at Bound for Glory. I've been chasing the world title for over a year now, and over the past few months, I've really evaluated my destiny. This Sunday, I'm gonna reinvent it. I'm gonna complete my journey to success. I'm gonna give the creatures what they've been waiting for and give myself what I deserve. And that's the World Heavyweight Championship. Then I'll be the best wrestler on planet Earth. I got some things I want to say. You see, since the moment I won the World Heavyweight Championship, Jeff Hardy, I've had people in this company telling me what to think. They've been telling me how to act. They've been telling me what to say. They've been telling Austin Aries to embrace these fans. They've been telling Austin Aries who he had to be as the World Heavyweight Champion. And as of right now, all that crap's done with. I'm sick and tired of the special treatment Jeff Hardy gets. See, I know what I'm being set up to fail. Here's the bottom line, Jeff. I've always worked best when it's me against the system. So you see a bond for glory when it's me against the world. The only failure is gonna be you. Because until you beat me, the only failure is the man you see in the mirror when you paint on that silly makeup. The charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy challenges the greatest man that ever lived, Austin Aries, for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Bound for Glory Series winner, Jeff Hardy, finally gets his opportunity. Main event, here tonight, World Heavyweight title, here we go. Austin Aries. Well, I'll tell you what, it was deafening. 
the reaction that the challenger right here, the number one contender, Jeff Hardy, received. Is tonight the night that Jeff Hardy writes the final chapter of the comeback, the redemption story? The answer awaits us in our Bound for Glory main event. Introducing, standing to my left, he weighed in this morning at 214 pounds and comes to us from Tampa, Florida. He is the current reigning and defending TNA Heavyweight Champion of the World, A-Double, Austin Aries. A little bit of a mixed reaction for our World Heavyweight Champion. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's not too mixed. The creatures of the night suddenly overwhelming vocally the supporters of Austin Aries. It might not be overwhelming. Look at, look at, I, just, I think there's about a bunch of them behind us that are Aries fans. A fumble? No, just messing with the crowd. Oh, I got joke. Joke. He's got jokes. I got it. Opening bell, Bound for Glory main event. World heavyweight champion, and all the power that goes with it to the victor. Wasn't a basic little push off. He pie 
face, Jeff pie face star. Air is a little bit there. Trust me, that was not your basic. Well, ah, push off me. Jeff, Jeff's a little pissed off at the champion. I think you might see a little bit of a different side to Jeff Hardy here tonight. Hammerlock, quick takedown, flowed over by Aries. Creatures respond with their chance for the challenger. That's what it's all about, right? That's what you do, you pick wow. who you want. You yell who you want. That's what makes it so great. Look at that nice double leg right there. All right, Jeff Hardy, get that left front headlock. Nice leg, like scissors up, scissors up right there. As Aries, wow. oh, man, I told you he was pissed off at him. <laughs> Open hand slap with Damn. authority. Slap the daylights out of him right there. What Hardy is motioning to the crowd is that when he tried to shoot Aries off into the ropes moments earlier, Aries stopped him by grabbing onto the hair of Hardy. Feeling out process, opening minutes of the match continues. Aries answers back with the push, the shove out of the corner, much like Hardy did moments before. What impact of the boot to the gut, the midsection by Hardy, shot to the back and then rams. Aries, head and chest first in the corner. Yeah, don't you worry about that, Jeff Hardy. He'll turn it up when he wants. World champ getting bounced around right now. Nice side headlock take rep, that takedown right there by, by the world champ. Barring up the arm also. Trying to keep Jeff Hardy on the mat, which is whoop, a sound strategy if you can pull it off. That's the key, if you can pull it off. How long can Aries neutralize Hardy? Quickly right. stuffed off into the side head scissors. Aries. Bridging, floating over, and gonna try and work his way out, out of the headstand. Doesn't went for oh, the drop, picking home. up quickly. Hardy rolled out of the way and then comes flying back into the double sledge to the back. What a stop down right there by Jeff Hardy. And, oh, you hear the Austin Aries fans getting all over Jeff Hardy. Yeah, Hardy is just, Laying in the right. <laughs> He's just bringing it right in. Aries. Intensity of this main event match befitting the World Heavyweight Title Showdown at Bound for Glory. Off the shoulder block, the roll through in the sunset flip. Oh, and it's that wow. time that Aries with a drop kick that went right into the face, right into the teeth. Yeah, great job. Great job right there by Aries. That drop kick was excellent. Jeff never expected, never saw it coming. I gotta say, Mike, what a great night it's been. I mean, uh, this from live the, crowd, this oh, audience has been amazing. From the very outset, I mean, it has been a exactly great show. that. Crown a new X Division champion, Van Dam. Joe retained his TV title. Oh! New knockouts champ in Terra. Uh, Hernandez and Chavo, tag team champions. There he's taking a victory lap, maybe a little prematurely. He's going in reverse now. All right. What a showboat. Well, here's, here's a shot of, watch this drop kick, boom, right there. Doubly, the champ. doubly effective, the boots to the face, and he hit him with such impact that Hardy's head rang off uh, the canvas. No confidence problem for the champ. Where's a cape that says greatest man that ever lived? <laughs> See, that's maybe more than confident. Well, you saw Jeff Hardy kind of lose his cool a little bit. That don't happen much. I think that uh, Austin Aries is renting some space in the brain and the head of Jeff Hardy, which you don't see that happen much. 
Hardy takes advantage of Aries' attempt to get back into the ring. Now high up into the air in the vertical suplex. Enables Hardy to cover and get a two count. Whoa! <laughs> didn't see that one yeah, coming. No. I didn't know Aries didn't either. Jeff Hardy got a little extra piece. Look at that Jeff Hardy now. He's, he's mocking the world champion. Watch out! Oh. Double sledge. Hardy flies off the apron. See how, quick the that, how quick that happened. Jeff Hardy definitely trying to put a beat down on the champ, and Jeff breaking the count right there. Going under that bottom rope, now what? Rearranging the steel steps. Aries stopping Hardy in his tracks. How quick he cut him off. A reversal. Ooh. Now turned him upside down. Sure did. Back of Aries. Smashing into the steps. Again, Hardy breaks the count of referee Brian Hebner. And now Hardy goes airborne! Oh, did you hear the thud? Yeah, man, I'll tell you what. So, Aries, Aries got a lot. He got nailed. Nailed! And then Hardy, at the same time, went straight down onto the concrete. Take a look here, watch this impact. Nowhere for Aries to go, the guardrail was blocking him. Out of the corner, Aries quickly turns it around, tries to follow up, Hardy saw him coming. Goes oh! the wind off the top, but nobody home. Look at Aries, maybe Aries gonna try and take advantage of the miss by Hardy. Can he do it? Can Aries do whatever he's got in mind? Opportunity to capitalize. Oh, he did it. He did it. Top rope splash, back style. Not enough just to two count that time, but Jeff Hardy has been severely weakened at this point. The confident champ, back to the offense. Again, Austin Aries fans are here in full effect. You can hear it. They want Aries to stay on top here. Jeff Hardy getting popped from behind badly. Back to back knees and then an elbow. Allows another two count for the champ in his quest to keep the championship. The one thing that Aries has done to this point has been limiting any high risk, any, any flying type moves from Jeff Hardy. He had the one where he went flying off the steps, but that's really been about it in terms of Hardy's ability to, to play yeah, to his well, strengths. I definitely agree with you. I think you're right. Aries definitely grounded Jeff Hardy thus far in the match. But, uh-oh. Man, Jeff Hardy. Oh, went for the splash off the middle rope. But Aries able to get the knees up at the last second. Oh, here we go. Here Champ goes the covers. Champ. Champ gets two and Challenger powers out. Look at Aries. What's he going to do here? Got an undergrip and a oh, backbreak, a back very break. unique way to a pin. The knee. Love that. Love the way Aries, how strategic that was. You do that backbreaker that quick, it puts you right into a pinning predicament. Great job by the World Heavyweight Champ, Austin Aries, and now tying up. That, that's kind of been the story of the match to this point, isn't it? It has. The way that Aries has been able to not only limit the flying of Hardy, but also to tie him uh, up with moves like this. Cover, cover. Shoulders down, here's two. First time that I've sensed just this much frustration on the part of Aries. Ha, 
This is awesome. <laughs> Damn right it is. This is cool. I love it. Everybody has an opinion tonight at Bound for Glory. The way that the fans are into this match shows you the absolute importance of our World Heavyweight title, of our Bound for Glory main event. And it shows you how, what an awesome show is going down right here in Bound for Glory. This is great stuff. You're damn right. Snap Mayer out of the corner. Champ from the middle rope. Oh, oh man. man. Wow. Hardy, Hardy just a sitting duck. I get it here, buddy. I get him. Jeff Hardy, tough as hell, man. That resiliency that Hardy is world famous for. Can't keep a good man down, man. And Jeff just keeps fighting up. It's been his trademark throughout his career. The resiliency of the charismatic enigma. Maybe going for that brain buster. I think so. He might have been going for the brain buster. Not successful is Aries. However, oh. Hardy is oh. Oh. with the sit out front suplex. You can hear much to the chagrin of the Austin Aries fans. Hardy the series of rights. And when he goes to get momentum off the ropes, stop dead in his tracks. Now the mark of a great champion right there in Aries. Vulnerable position for the challenger. Wow. Corkscrew oh, oh. hit the pin. See how quick Aries spun in midair. This guy's just a crazy ath athlete. I think that describes both of them. Again, the Maybe. front face lock used by Aries. This Maybe. is all about control. Well, he might, you never know, he might want to wear down Hardy and try to get that. That's last, right. That last chancery, which will bridge back. He's going to go He's for it right here. Over he, oh, what a great move by Locked Hardy. Yep. Just the way that he was able to hook the leg. Just at the point when Aries was going to try and float over and complete the submission, the last chancery, it was countered perfectly by Hardy. Both these men leaving an all out here, the champion and the challenger. Aries, Aries now. Uh-oh. Look at this. Oh! Oh, 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 yeah. Wow. Why did he come up with that one? That's Jeff Hardy, buddy. <laughs> He'll pull some stuff out. Trust me. Yeah. That was sick. We need a replay, guys. The <laughs> unpredictable nature of Jeff Hardy. Oh, my Evident God. right there. <laughs> We're back live. Jeff Hardy emptying the tank and the playbook. No sense to wait for another night. You gotta leave it all out here. Leave it all out on the line in the World Heavyweight title match. Well, that definitely shutting down uh, Austin Aries here a bit. Aries don't know where he's at here. Look at that. Offense momentarily turns in favor of the challenger. Hardy flies into the corner, cut by the boot. Aries oh. out. Hardy prepared. Off the double leg, straight down. Both boots in tight with the drop kick. Pin, two, go. Not enough. Austin Aries showing a lot of resiliency there, showing how important that world title is. Showing Jeff Hardy, hey, you might be great, but I'm greater. Either that or he kicked out an instinct. What the corner hell? to corner goes Aries. Oh, watch out! Whisper in the wind off the top. That might do it right there. Enough. We might have a new champ. Over. Shoot the head off. Got him. Pin! Wow. Barely kicking out. A kick out and a slight roll of the shoulder, but it's enough for the champion, Austin Aries, to stay alive in the world title match. Second that Aries gets to his feet. Doubled over by the boot. The twist of fate attempt was blocked. 
but then the leg strength of Hardy comes into play. Watch Jeff oh, Hardy, he just keeps... Hey, hey, listen, Aries can't go anywhere around this ring without getting popped or nailed by Jeff Hardy. Hardy's got Aries in his sights. Measures. Ooh, and slingshot over. And Aries able to, to slide back in into the ropes. Well, watch Aries. This is this is vintage Austin Aries. Watch out. Oh, damn. What a suicide dive. You could see the way he was setting up to do that. Impact of the move. It just slammed and smashed Hardy into the steel. Another well, watch. Look. Here's the impact. Wow. You get to see it oh. straight up. Austin Aries just coming full throttle. Right into the body of the challenger for his championship, Jeff Hardy. Aries surveys the situation from in the ring. I don't know. I, Hardy, I, I, Hardy's got to get in before the count uh, of the uh, referee uh, here. Uh, I got to be honest with you. If I'm Aries, I'm throwing him in the ring and covering him. Maybe he just, he's trying to get a count uh, out. I don't know what he's trying to do. I'd seize that opportunity, buddy, with someone as resilient as Jeff Hardy. Maybe he is trying to get a count out. I don't know. Or maybe he's going to well, watch out. Head of steam and another one. Now throw him in. Ah, I see what Aries That's was exactly. doing. exactly. Yep. He wanted to make sure that he had sufficiently weakened Hardy. The double suicide dive. He's the got it. He's got oh. No, he doesn't. Aries split open. I think he hit his head maybe on that guardrail. Wow, he split open pretty bad. Maybe above his eyebrow. Can't really tell. Right back on top again. Ooh. And again, Aries gets two. And hook of that front face lock. Maybe going for that. Last chancery. Didn't work the last the time. Knees. Watch the yep. knees, Mike. The, the knees. The knees are going right into the head, and there it is. Float over the bridge. Last chancery submission. Oh, man, Jeff's in trouble. Good gosh. Cranking back on the head. Referee Brian Hebner seeing that Jeff Hardy extends the leg and gets the break. A hell of a contest this has been. This is just like... Match it's after like match. Every match Listen, tonight. Yeah, match, match after match. When you're in the main event, it's can you top this? These boys are. Oh, man, Hardy just landed hard there. A thud on the entrance ramp as Hardy's tossed outside. Aries, this is dangerous territory. If, he, if Aries were to hit a brain buster out here on, on the ramp. Oh, no. Don't do that. Don't do it. Went for it. Hardy floats. Hardy goes twisto. Oh, man. Paid the line. price with a clothesline as his neck snapped back against the ropes. That's dangerous. And Jeff. Jeff really got hit hard right there. All of Aries, Aries upper body, not just a clothesline. Pop just nailed Jeff Hardy. And, watch and this. Watch where he's focusing. Oh, oh, my, oh my God! God. Oh. Did you see the back of his head? Hit that lip of that ramp of that platform. Oh, oh. man. Let's take another replay. Let's try and see, Mike. I, watch, watch the lip there of the eight. That platform's a little higher. Damn. Oh my oh. God. Oh God. Oh man. That was from bad. The top. That was bad. Aries zoning in for the kill. I, I don't blame him. The guy's going after your title. Well, you can just sense it, can't you? You can just feel He's it. He's got it. Missile, missile, missile drop one. Yeah. Well, Jeff don't know where. Jeff might have a concussion right now. They have to hit in the back of his skull on that steel walkway, the ramp, the platform that goes to our ring here. What a powerful drop kick. Full speed ahead, but Hardy gets the boots up. Champion and challenger with the mid-ring exchange. And again, Hardy's momentum derailed. Went for the discus for oh, the second time. Oh. He didn't hit it. Hardy hits the twist oh, of the man. He got it all, man. He Just got it all. He got it all. He didn't get enough of it. What a match.
be a lot of booze here for Hardy. Who goes all the way to the top. Aries oh. dives at the ropes. And the challenger's crotched in the corner. Aries creating his own opening here, Mike. Very smart right there of Austin Aries. Dangerous, dangerous position. Well, you don't think great. Especially this late in the match. Let's see what Aries got in mind here, Mike. Both men way up on top. No. Oh, my God! Jumping! Top rope super hurricane. What the hell? That was just unbelievable. Aries, you can see it in his eyes. He knows he's got it. He's got this victory in those eyes. You can read it. Look at that. The confidence is at an all-time high. Here he comes. Corner drop kick. Snaps Hardy's head back again. Brain Buster. Hardy up. Brain Buster. There it is. The move that won him the title. Brain Buster one, two. Got him. Oh! Oh! Oh, man! That would be the definition of resilient as you always call Jeff Hardy. Amazingly, kicks out of the Brain Buster. Look at another one, Aries. Almost like he's desperate, like a desperate man. Like, what the hell do I gotta do to this guy? And Jeff Hardy's body was just limp the way he was just put up on those ropes. Look at this, Aries is just relentless, relentless. Went for the, went for the double foot stop. Just drag Hardy back out of the corner. Got a stunner right there. And here comes a twist of fate. Came out of nowhere. Twist of fate by Hardy. I think Aries got, Aries got a little crazy when he didn't get the win. He got a little desperate, I think. Hardy heads all the way to the top. Hits the strike hot off the top. Here's one. Here's two. He did it. He did it, Mike! Final chapter in the story of redemption has been written by the charismatic enigma as Jeff Hardy becomes world heavyweight champion. My God, what a night it's been, Taz. Oh, my God. This is amazing. I, I got this. This was just unbelievable. What an amazing match. What an amazing match. Congratulations to the new World Heavyweight Champion, Jeff Hardy and Austin Aries, my friend. You have nothing to be ashamed of. What a contest. What an effort that man put out there. Jeff Hardy just one teeny step ahead. I really believe that when Aries did not get the victory over that hellacious brain buster, and he just kind of lost his head a little bit. He got a little too desperate. And Jeff Hardy took advantage of it. Jeff Hardy celebrates the new world heavyweight champion. This is how it was accomplished. That momentum came in second. And it's just that twist of fate. And then here comes this massive swan time bomb. And he crowned a new World Heavyweight Champion right here at Impact Wrestling. Congratulations to our new champ. What an incredible, what an unforgettable night Bound for Glory 2012 has been. And thank you to our live audience here in Phoenix, Arizona. What an amazing crowd. Awesome stuff. And thanks for everybody out there watching. And what an amazing <laughs> event this has been. We will always remember Bound for Glory 2012 as the night that Jeff Hardy became World Heavyweight Champion.